Good afternoon, graduates of Georgia Tech, friends and family in Yellow Jackets across the globe, and welcome to the 2023 Masters Commencement Ceremony here at Bobby Dodd Stadium on the campus of Georgia Tech. My name is Bryce Zimmerman. I'm with the Institute Communications Department, and we are here to bring you all the way up to the very beginning of the ceremony and show you some of our great student stories and highlight some of the individuals that we will be walking across the stage here in just a few minutes. I'm joined by Ayana Isles, and Ayana, this is always one of the most exciting times of the year when finally they, that culmination of all the hard work, the years and years and years going into it, we finally get to see that celebration today. Yeah, it's an exciting day, and even though it's raining out, we know you guys are are still excited and we want to see those photos post them tag us in those photos and use hashtag gt23 and hashtag rambling on yeah so make sure that you are participating as well in the social media hey rain makes good photo opportunities too right the light is good you get some photo with the raindrops in there so always going to be uh, looking good and we want to see those we'll share those on our flagship georgia tech accounts at georgia tech across the board we are not the only people. This is the Ramblin' Rec Desk. We're going to be interviewing people here, but also out amongst the peoples trying to stay dry over on the stage are the other members of our team, Evan Atkinson and Tyler Schott. Appreciate that, Bryce and Ayana. Yes, we are here on the stage. I am Evan Atkinson. I'm joined by Tyler Schott. Today is all about the graduates, okay? So we're going to show you everybody you love, you want to support. We're here for them today. So just like Bryce and Ayana, we're going to introduce you to some of those people. And we're also going to show you a little bit more about those hood colors so that you can find all your loved ones as easy as possible. But for now, let's send it back to Bryce and Ayana to start meeting some of these students. All right, thank you very much, Evan. And we have some wonderful stories here to tell you, including this next one about a young lady who persevered through something that many of us could not even possibly fathom to eventually go on to get her Georgia Tech degree. Let's meet Natalie Huertas. Georgia Tech was my dream school for a very long time. Every day I come to campus, it is a new opportunity for me to show what I can do and I'm so grateful that I'm here every single day um, because I didn't think that I would be here. In September of 2019, I was diagnosed with uh, acute promyelocytic leukemia, and it's, it's a fast cancer. If you don't catch it fast enough, you, I, unthinkable, the unthinkable could happen. That is also a very unique position to be in, especially at 26. I tried to get into Georgia Tech four times before I got accepted. When I was diagnosed, I actually wrote a portion of my admissions essay uh, during treatment as just a motivation and a promise to myself that I would, that I would, that I would make it through. Um, and to my surprise, 
I got in. And that, just keep going, you know? That's how I felt. I, it wasn't, I had a choice um, to really use those, those trials, to use those challenges. There aren't any bad days. Some days are just better than others. The complexity of that is also an opportunity for you to really grow into what you want to be. So redefining what my purpose is in life, Georgia Tech gave me that. I'm number two out of six kids. My parents came from Mexico, and I am the first to pursue higher education and to graduate with a master's. I have the opportunity to explore and work with a ton of other places in the, in the Georgia Tech colleges. I've worked in the College of Interactive Computing as a teaching assistant, helping students mend that area between computer science and design, teaching the value of beauty and art in computation. I heard something, I think my first week here on campus, to simply be kind, because you don't know what is happening that day to that person, to just like exert kindness. And here is Natalie with us here by the Ramblin' Rec desk. We're so glad that you're here. We're so glad that you are here. I and it's a very here. important Thank day, you. because what does this day mark in your battle with leukemia? So today will be the three-year uh, anniversary of my remission. So it's a double header for me today. Now, this is a day you're not going to forget anytime soon, right? I won't. I just surprised my parents uh, just uh, five minutes ago and told them that I was going to speak at commencement. So. <laughs> wow, you've got a lot of exciting things to celebrate today. In your package, you're talking about perseverance. Can you tell us about what was so important and what made your experience at Georgia Tech so special? I think the community did an incredible job, uh, you know, finding great people, intelligent people, and strong people is very e easy to come by on campus, and it kept me motivated and uh, got me here today. And we saw in your video that you had a photo of you doing a guest lecture here on campus. Tell me about that experience. You, you're speaking a little bit later on. Sorry for the spoiler alert out there. We are going to hear from Natalie during the ceremony. We're all very excited, but you've got some experience getting in, in front of some folks. I have done a couple guest lectures. Um, I think the first one that really like struck out and I was like, I cannot believe it, um, was teaching uh, computational beauty and you know perception to a bunch of CS students and me being a, an, uh, an ID major and a digital media masters now uh, it was it, it was a great it was great insight for me but also it really just the look on their faces when they realized how close those those two intersections really are uh, really gave me a neck you know to keep on to keep on presenting and so you have a lot of exciting things today, but what's next for you? What, what are you looking forward to? Um, industry. Uh, I am getting married in November, so I'm very excited for that. Uh, and uh, we'll see. Maybe run a department or an institute. Hey, you Why never not? know. Maybe, Maybe you can come back to Georgia Tech in a little while. Don't take on Hilke Bear's job today. Uh, well, any, I'm going to give you the opportunity real quick to say hi to anybody out there, either watching online or here in the stands. Hi, Mom and Dad. Um, Mary, I know you're watching online, but I love you. Um, that's my sister, and she couldn't make it today. But, you know, thank you so much to, you know, Dr. Jennifer Kim and Florian Vollmer for helping me and giving me a chance. And the digital media department, they, they did great. I'm happy. Well, we are looking forward to hearing from you during this ceremony. We are generating some excitement here today. I know that everyone is fighting off the raindrops. We're hoping to have this ceremony be as dry as possible. But over there on the stage, dry right now, is Tyler Schott, and he's got some students he wants to talk to. Thanks, Bryce. We have two students who completed their master's degrees online. And can you tell me what's your name and what did you get your degree in? Um, I'm Sean, and I got my degree in the Master's of Science of Analytics. And Sean, even though you were remote, I know you came to campus a couple times. Can you tell me about your experiences on campus? Yeah, I just, I always thought the campus was so cool how it's in like the heart of Atlanta and you like can barely tell because of all the green trees and everything. So I just always thought it was such a beautiful campus. Yeah, now that you're here today, is anyone with you to celebrate online or in person here? Yeah, I have a online, actually my two grandparents are watching and uh, here I have my mom and wife up in the stands. Oh, that's awesome. We're excited to celebrate with you. Thanks for coming down. And we have another online student, and you said you have not been to campus before until today. Yeah, it's my first time. I, I, that's amazing. And I never 
yeah, campus like that before. Yeah, always I said in the small university, but here it's amazing. It's great. Yeah, I'm glad to be here. That's really exciting. Do you have any plans to see Atlanta or the rest of campus while you're here? Uh, yeah, the, f the first thing we are going to the dinner with my friend and my wife. She's looking me over there. And after that, tomorrow we are going to visit the Olympic Park. Yeah, it's the first time. But yeah, this is all. And I'm back to fly to the Boston uh, on Sunday. That's awesome. We're so glad you could see Atlanta and the campus. Is there anyone else online or in the stands? I know you mentioned your wife that you'd like to say hi to. Uh, just I want to say my wife. Thank you to my wife. And she supports me always. And I love you, Atefe, and my, my parents, my mom. And I love them. Thank you. Great. Well, congratulations. Uh, we're going to talk to Bryce with some more students right now. All right. Thank you very much, Tyler. We're joined now by Zena Kamal. And I am very excited to talk to you. You're another online student, but you have been to campus here. But what you have been doing with your career is really fascinating. Tell us a little bit about the book publishing, how that came to be, and some of the stories that you're telling there. Yeah, so my name is Annette Kamal. Hi, my kids and <laughs> my four kids and my husband are in the in the rain somewhere. Um, I am an immigrant from Ethiopia. I had a different career back then, so um, after I moved here, I decided to change my career and be in technology. Uh, I'm a mom of four, and so in the midst of the pandemic, uh, my program is in cybersecurity, so I work in cybersecurity. I fortune have 500 company, and while we're staying at home, I noticed that my kids um, while gaming online got hacked more than one occasion. And so I decided, you know, somebody has to tell the story and teach parents and educators how to protect our kids online. So that's how it came about. Uh, oh No Hacked Again and Proud in Her Hijab are my two children's book. They're both award winners. And then the third one will be coming in June. So I am happy I was able to accomplish that while going to school for my master's degree in cybersecurity and being able to tell story and um, uh, being able to represent kids that look like me, uh, being seen in the literatures that they read. And you were busy while you were in this program. Your, your most important job is being a mom of four. How was that experience juggling this program and writing a book and all the things you had going on? Oh my God, very interesting. <laughs> but I think with the pandemic, I think all of us have a choice how we utilize our time. So I think um, at that point, you know, working from home, there were three kids in three different classes. At that point, they decided to make their home a distance learning space, a school basically. So uh, the classes learning, the fact that it was online helped definitely. And then um, just, you know, partnering with my husband and he's been very supportive with my dreams, the book publishing and all the crazy things that I decided to do all of a sudden. So I think having a good partner and having a support system helps. And I know that there are a lot of online students out there who are visiting Georgia Tech for the first time as they get their degrees here today, but that's not necessarily the case for you. You were honored here. Tell us about that award. Yeah, so I flew here actually yesterday from Minnesota, so I'm a Minnesota resident, but I came here back in March because I was one of the recipients of uh, the Ivan Allen Jr. Legacy Award for graduate school. So I was invited to come and receive the award. Um, so that's how I, that was my first visit coming to Atlanta. And then this one is with my kids, of course. And what are you most excited about for today? Um, just inspiring my kids because I brought four of my kids in different ages from 13, 10, 8, and 3 and a half. Just uh, inspiring them walking that stage and just be a good role model for them. Well, thank you so much for coming. Quickly, if, is there anybody else you want to say hello to? Absolutely. Hi, my husband. If the kids are killing you, just blink twice. <laughs> and my kids, thank you so much for being my inspiration and my parents who are watching this live. And my best friend, Quentin, who will be graduating with me, Quentin Samuelson. Congratulations. And congratulations to everyone. Zena Kamal, thank you so much for coming to join us and being a part of the broadcast. And hopefully you can stay dry out there. As we know the rain is, is coming me. down, and we're going to have a weather report a little bit later on here in Commencement Live. We've got more student stories to meet. So Zena here, she was an online student, visited campus only a couple of times. However, we do have a lot of graduates that started here as undergraduates and are now getting their master's degree. We call them double jackets. Let's meet one right now, Heidi Davari. So neither one of my parents are architects, but they really love going to open houses, and so I was always with them going to do that. And it kind of just created a passion in architecture for me, and I kind of decided early on in high school that I wanted to study architecture, and Georgia Tech has a great program. I studied in Greece and Italy, and that was seven weeks long. It was like an art and architecture program, and that was probably one of my favorite things at Georgia Tech. My senior year of the bachelor's program was all online because of COVID. 
my time here was kind of cut short a little bit. I had to finish online. So that was one reason I immediately started the grad program right after I graduated and I was happy to come back to campus. Last semester I worked on a project. It was a technology park across the river from Historic Savannah. It's kind of my first large-scale project like that, doing an urban plan and then more specifically working on a building on that master plan that we had developed. Came into school planning on doing residential design, but being exposed to so many different projects just in studios and classes here, kind of decided to branch out a little bit, so I'll be working for somewhere that does a mix of projects. I'm shy and that's my personality and that'll always sort of be part of me, but I've come out of my shell a lot at Georgia Tech, just interacting with professors and students and constantly having to give presentations. But I really pushed myself and I was able to keep my scholarship throughout my time. And then when it came time to apply to grad school, I was immediately accepted to everywhere I applied to and now I'm graduating with a 4.0. So I think it just shows that Georgia Tech does want you to succeed and if you're willing to put in the work, it doesn't matter how you got here. So I'm proud of all of those accomplishments and kind of where I started and where I'm ending. Okay, so I am here with Heidi. So you are a double jacket. You already have a degree from Georgia Tech. Why come back and earn another degree? I think I just really love the campus environment here. Um, I miss a lot of my friends decided to come back and I just, I wanted to finish out my time here and I love the school and decided it was the right fit to do grad school too. Okay, so you are double jacket, so you spend a lot of time here. Is there something that you're gonna miss most about being here at Georgia Tech? Yeah, I, again, I love the city environment, being able to walk to class, and then of course all my friends, um, whether it's like Wednesday night trivia, um, just getting to see familiar faces all over campus, I'm definitely gonna miss that. But. Okay, so I think you kinda know maybe what you're doing next. Are you gonna be staying in the Atlanta area? And if not, what are you gonna be doing next? Yeah, so I'm gonna be working at a mixed use um, architectural firm and working towards my architecture license. Okay, so I don't want you to go out of here without saying hi to anyone who may be watching online or here in the audience. Is there anyone you might want to say hi or thank you to? Yeah. So my parents and my boyfriend are in the audience and then of course all my architecture studio friends in the front rows, but yeah. <laughs> Perfect, well thank you Heidi. I really let you appreciate you taking the time to chat with me. I'm going to chat with another student here. Come here, Samar. Uh, so we're gonna talk to another student who is graduating today. You can come right over here. So can you tell everybody what your name is and what you're studying here? Yeah, sure. Uh, I'm Samar Suresh. I'm uh, just graduating from my Master's of Science in Environmental Engineering. Okay, so environmental engineering. Why pick environmental engineering when there's so many options to get your master's degree? Absolutely. I mean, uh, I think it's time to, you know, kind of change the world and try to make sure that you want to put your engineering skills and scientific skills. You want to take it out and um, make the change. And I, I really had the passion towards, you know, changing how uh, I wanted to happen in my city in Bangalore in India and uh, I want to see how I can bring a change, absolutely. So this is kind of on the same topic, but you worked on something, let me make sure I get this right, the G2RT Reinvented Toilet Project. Can you tell everybody you know, a little bit about that project and why that's so important? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it's called the Generation to Reinvented Toilet, wherein uh, you're trying to recreate the toilet experience. But, uh, I mean, when was the last time a toilet was actually changed? More than 100, 150 years. And uh, we're trying to make sure this toilet is actually accessible, affordable, and also trying to make sure it's like a decentralized system, wherein all the process of the toilet is actually happening at the on-site place. So this beats a lot of uh, other challenges and brings a big solution to the world. And it's a huge collaborative uh, project which is being implemented all across the world. Okay, so you had the chance to work on some pretty cool projects while you're here at Georgia Tech. Got to ask you, what's next for you? Yeah, sure. Um, I'm actually getting into a consulting firm. It's an environmental uh, consulting firm with the name Corolla Engineers, uh, wherein I'm actually designing wastewater and water uh, treatment uh, systems and also doing a little bit of machine learning and artificial intelligence, uh, trying to bring in some cool stuff and uh, trying to see how we can optimize systems. So do you think the projects that you worked on are going to help you with this uh, job starting out? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think everything is kind of uh, correlated and interlinked. And the kind of uh, intelligence I used in recreating a toilet, it's something I can use uh, trying to recreate an entire water, wastewater treatment system. Okay, so I have to ask you as well, is there anyone here or watching online that you want to say hi to or thank you to when you had the chance? 
Yeah, absolutely. My mom and my brother are right, right here on, on the stand. Uh, and my father, who couldn't make it here all the way from India. My grandmom's in California, who made it uh, here. And all my friends and family uh, back home in India, uh, who's been watching online. So I'm super thankful for all of them. And I couldn't you know, be here without all of you guys. Thank you so much. OK, so that's Samarth. Really appreciate you taking your time. Right now, let's go to the board so we can learn about one of Georgia Tech's newest campaigns. Our students are different. The current students at Georgia Tech are the future of our world. All they need is for someone to support them, and they can create whatever it is that the world needs for them to create. We're the top source of STEM talent in America. We produce the most women engineers in America. We produce the most aerospace engineers in America. We have that local, national, global impact. Georgia Tech really prepares you for that real world next step. It gives me a ton of confidence to know that what I'm learning, I'm going to be able to apply. When I go to class, I know that the things that I'm going to be learning are beneficial, and so it makes me want to pay attention more. It makes me want to ask questions. There's an emphasis on what you're doing with your scholarship. How are you involved in campus? How are you involved in the community? Being a leader is about what you're giving back. It's about investing in others. Every student, no matter how bright and capable they are, they still need an opportunity to be a human being, not just a human doing. When we involve our broader Georgia Tech community, I think there's a really good opportunity to really make a meaningful, measurable change. And if we give them the right tools and the right resources, we know that our students really can change the world in a whole bunch of different ways. It's going to be the grandchildren of the students that we're giving these opportunities that someday will benefit from all of this. I am absolutely glad that I decided to come here. Transforming Tomorrow. The Campaign for Georgia Tech. So Transforming Tomorrow, what a great campaign slogan. And we mentioned earlier that we have double jackets. We're going to talk to more double jackets. I think I'm here right now with Jacob Aguirre. I think you need to hold this up because you are in the middle of being a potential quintuple jacket. Take us through all of these degrees. What are you doing, man? <laughs> so I started as a, a student at Tech in 2020 with the econ and added on the econ masters through BSMS. Um, I'm just super thankful for all the faculty and my friends at Tech who have supported me on this journey. Okay, okay so I have one major question for you. It's a very deep, serious question. Why? <laughs> Why go after, after five, five degrees? I mean, I love it. You're obviously brilliant, but five degrees. Uh, so the schedule, it really just ended up with me taking around uh, eight courses a semester. Um, you know, I love math and science, so it really wasn't too much of a burden on me. Um, and staying for here for grad school just seemed the natural choice. Um, joining ISYE is the best uh, engineering program in the country, so it was a natural fit for me to stay here. And so you obviously love Georgia Tech. You've gotten a few degrees from here. But what about this experience is so special? What about tech is so special to you? Um, I think the faculty and the people here who are supportive, um, the support staff, the kitchen workers, I mean, truly everyone here has always been so accepting and open to me. Um, the friends that I made here have all been supportive. I've loved getting to go to football games, basketball games with them. Um, and I just love being in the city. I love Atlanta. And so you're walking today with the economics master's in science. Uh, we're going to see you on the stage an awful lot, I think, over the next couple of years and already have. But I also want to know a little bit about this uh, winner of the National Science Foundation Graduate Fellowship. How did that come about and what are some of the things that you're doing with it? Sure. So uh, National Science Foundation, it funds uh, three years of my PhD. Um, I was given this opportunity by my advisors in ISYE. Um, to apply for this program. Um, and so they'll help sponsor my travel um, and my research. Yep. Very cool. OK, shout out time. Who do you want to say hello to out there? Um, shout out to my friends who are watching. You know, they stayed in their dorms because it was rainy today. Um, shout out to my uh, grandma and my family in California, um, and then the family that came to the stadium today. I think our audience is swelling just a little bit because of this rain, but thank you to all the fans and all the people in the stands that are going to make this a special day and all of y'all out there in the stands as well. We're getting closer and closer to the beginning of this commencement ceremony, so stick with us. Hopefully this rain's going to go away. We're going to get a weather report in just a little bit. Jacobs, thank you so much thank for joining so much. us. Thank and you may notice that Jacob is wearing a certain color of his hood. We're going to learn more about those colors and what they mean. Send it over to Tyler and Evan on the stage. 
appreciate that, Bryce. Yes, we are going to talk about hood colors. So all of our master's graduates today, you will see will be wearing a hood of all different colors. So we're going to go through that to make sure it's a little easy for you to be able to find your loved ones. And you see Tyler's holding up our first one here. Blue violet. Blue violet is the color for all our architecture and design graduates. So people like architecture, industrial design, real estate development. Let's move on to our next one here, Tyler. We have bright gold. Bright gold is for sciences and math. So analytics, biology, chemistry, digital media, earth and atmosphere and sciences, math, physics, so many more. But we're going to move on next. We have copper, copper. Copper is for the one and only masters in economics, economics. Let's move on. This is one of everybody's fave. This color right here is called drab. Drab is for our students. Yes, yes, cheer for drab, cheer for drab. For all our students earning master's degrees today in business. Next up, another very, very popular color. Orange, orange is for all of our engineering graduates. Aerospace, chemical biomechanical engineering, civil engineering, environmental engineering, so many more engineerings. There are a lot of options here, but they're all fall under orange. Next up, we have Peacock. Peacock is for our Masters of Science in Public Policy. Public Policy. I like, I like Peacock. I think that's one of my favorite colors right there. Uh, next up, we have Pink. Pink is for our students getting their Masters in Music Technology. Music Technology. Next up, not to be confused with pink, this is salmon. Salmon is for students earning their masters in health systems. Health systems, all right? And last but not least, we have white. White is for our students earning their masters in psychology or modern languages. So now I hope after going through all these, you can find your loved ones a little easier out here. All their colors are represented. But for right now, let's, that's enough on hood colors. And let's go to a package where we learn a little bit about a family of jackets graduating together. Oh, they're All right, to thank the you very much there, Evan, and taking a look at those. Always, every year he likes peacock. Peacock is his yeah. favorite color. <laughs> so once again, if you're just filing in here to Bobby Dodd Stadium, what you're watching right now is Commencement Live. It's a pre-show that we have for you, highlighting many of our student stories. You can find much of these stories if you missed it and you're still on your way in on YouTube. They are streaming live and also on our YouTube channel for Georgia Tech. But that's not the only way that you can interact with us today. That's right, Bryce. We want to see your photos in the rain. Bryce brought up a great point. The lighting's great for photos, so tag us in it. Tag us at GT and use the hashtag GT23 and hashtag rambling on. All right, we've got a lot more to show you. Many more students here that are piling up, getting ready to come into the stadium and enjoy today. And we've got more student stories for you, including the story of a father and daughter who were students here at the same time. Let's meet Saya and Vijay Nara. I originally didn't even want to do computer science. I was totally against it in high school because I kind of saw my dad doing computer science his whole life. And I was like, I don't want to sit at a desk all day. So it wasn't really for me. But then my senior year of high school, after I'd already applied, I made a bet with my dad. So I was very, very into dance when I was in high school. And so he said, if he took a dance class, I would have to take a computer science class. And he did a flash mob with me in Times Square. And I took AP computer science. And I fell in love with it, which is why I ended up coming to Georgia Tech. So I studied also my bachelor's in computer science and engineering in a college in India. I don't know how much I learned, but I learned a lot as part of my work. Then when I visited uh, Georgia Tech with Sahya, I also loved it and recommended it. My mom was always annoyed that I didn't do my master's. So I wanted to fulfill her wish. And also Georgia Tech is like such a prestigious college, right? So I thought I mean, everything came together. Prestige, my daughter is there. And it is also so affordable, which is why I chose GT. So I obviously came here first, so I kind of like understood Canvas, all the different systems we were using. I mean, she didn't let me look too much into her work. She's like, I have had enough of you. I don't need your help, was, <laughs> was her attitude. So coding and all that stuff was pretty straightforward for me, not a problem. But registration was a difficult thing for me to figure out. <laughs> and, and she helped me out on that side. I ended up doing an internship last summer with Apple as a software engineer, and I graduated and I'm now working full time um, as a software engineer at Apple, so super exciting. It's amazing, right? It's, it's uh, I, I tell her, it's beyond my dreams. We look at ourselves as the Georgia Tech family, and, and hopefully we get to do something also back to college. 
It's like my fun fact, like, oh, me and my dad both go to the same school. I think it's definitely more exciting to see him walk across since I'm, like, he'll be walking with, some of my friends are graduating with their masters as well, so he'll be with my friends. Graduating at the same time, as my doctor kind of gave me a goal to aim for. And I thought it would be interesting to graduate together, and that I think that helped me graduate maybe ahead of um, what I would have done otherwise. And we are here at the desk with Vijay Nara. And as a daddy's girl, I cannot imagine this process and going to your school with your daughter. Tell us about how that how that made that special, and tell us about your experience here at Tech. Uh, yeah, the graduating with my daughter is, is special, and uh, also I guess of course she helped me make the decision to come here. Um, sorry, what was the last question? Well, how how was it being in, enrolled at the same time with your daughter? Oh, this is great. I mean, this is like you know beyond my dreams. I was dreaming about graduating with her. Now, graduating and this on top of it, this is beyond my dreams. And you get to make a big weekend out of it because you're here walking today. It looks like Sahi is going to have the better weather tomorrow, but you're sticking it out, right? Yeah, yeah. I thought she was going to have the worst weather, but I got it. <laughs> and yeah, it was a hectic week. As we said, Sahi is graduating tomorrow. My son is also here, and we had to help him move out of his dorm today. So it's been a hectic day so far. Yeah, so move out of the dorm, put your robes on, get out of here, walk across the stage, and then you're in the cheering section tomorrow. Yep, absolutely. All right, tell us a little bit about how this degree, now you did the online uh, cybersecurity degree. Tell us a little bit about how that is going to help you. I mean, you, you're an established guy. You work at American, Ex uh, American Express. You've done a lot of things when it comes to the, the computer science realm. So how does this degree help you, and how does it further your position within your own company? Yeah, so I work in New York City. I, I've, be, I've been working there for the last 20 years. I loved working in New York City, and I love American Express. And they, they have a big technology division in cybersecurity in New York. And so that's why I wanted to do cybersecurity, so I could stay on with the company and uh, have more opportunities to grow. Um, All right, yeah, that, uh, perfect. You said it perfectly. Now it's shout out time for you. We'll give Sahia this opportunity tomorrow, but who do you want to say hello to out there watching and in the stands? Yeah, first and foremost to my wife, who always had my back, and then my kids, Sahia and Sri, for. Uh, helping me dream bigger, and my mom for encouraging me to be here. And I also want to just call out my friends in Robbinsville, New Jersey, and my extended family back in India. All right, that is Vijay Nara. Thank you so much for joining us. And we're going we're gonna to hear from Sahia tomorrow during the bachelor's ceremony. Well, you may have noticed that there is precipitation, and there's someone amongst us that can tell us all about what to expect for the rest of commencement live into the commencement ceremony in the day. Let's send it over to Tyler. That's right, Bryce. And who better to tell us about the weather than a Georgia Tech Earth and Atmospheric Sciences major from Georgia Tech. Dorian, can you tell us what is the weather looking like today and what can we expect for the rest of the day? So as you can see behind us, there is a lot of rainfall. That really started moving in over the past couple of hours. It was definitely lighter in nature, but we're starting to see some of that heavier precipitation moving into the area now. That will continue, unfortunately, through the rest of the ceremony. We're looking at this tapering off finally around the 6 to 7 o'clock hour. So any evening plans that you have afterwards, those will be fine beside the few scattered showers. We are looking at temperatures tonight going into the 50s and tomorrow starting to climb back up above average to seven upper 70s and then by the time we get to next week a few thunderstorm chances but we'll be seeing those temperatures into the low to mid 80s was exactly what you will see in the t a month of may wow you delivered that like a pro it sounds like you have some experience i see on your grad cap that you are soon to be seen on tv can you tell me a little bit about that yeah, so uh, after graduation, I will be a meteorologist on Live 5 News in Charleston, South Carolina. It's their CBS affiliate, and I'm just really excited and really blessed to have that opportunity and to work with a prominent set of meteorologists. That's fantastic. Can you speak a little bit about how you chose to do Earth and Atmospheric Sciences and what made you get into meteorology in the first place? Sure. So I've always been really interested in meteorology and the sciences in general. Um, growing up, I would always ask my mom a lot of questions about what, uh, what types of science events would be. And eventually that transitioned into me sticking with meteorology. I'm originally from Maryland. And so just like Georgia, a lot of variety in weather. You have severe storms, you have hurricanes. And so all of those things really just trickled down to me and really expanded my interest in both meteorology and giving back into the community is why I chose broadcasting. That's fantastic. This will definitely not be the last time we see you on the big screen. Before we let you go, is there anyone in the stand or online that you'd like to say hi to? 
Uh, I would like to give a special shout out to my amazing mom. Thank you for all that you do and every and all the love and support that you've given me. Um, I have my family in the stands too. Thank you so much. My church family, love you all. Awesome. All right, let's toss back to the rec desk and talk to somebody else. All right, thank you, Tyler. Thank you, Dorian. Dorian, uh, a two-time appearance on Commencement Live. He's also a double jacket. And now we have Katie Jordan, who is another double jacket. And Katie, I just want to know, why Georgia Tech twice? And you did both those degrees in four years. Tell us about your experience on the academic side. Yeah, so I um, started Georgia Tech when COVID happened, actually. It happened at the end of my first year, so I figured that I might as well get the hard classes out of the way. Um, and it turns out that was all the classes. So it took me three years to um, complete that degree, um, but I wasn't ready to leave Georgia Tech and all the people here. So I did the BSMS program and I had one year left. Um, and so now it's my four years and I'm done. <laughs> Great, and you start. You actually started as an engineering student and switched to computer science. What made you switch? What made you make that switch? Yeah, so I think coming into Georgia Tech, I had a lot of motivation and talent, but I didn't really know what that motivation was. Um, and so my freshman year, I really found out what motivates me, um, and that is serving people and impacting people. Um, and so computer science gives me a, a way to serve and impact people in a big way. Um, and so I really like that about computer science. From your student experience here, what are some of the most memorable things that happened while you're on campus? Some of the things that you'll never forget from your time, you know, away from the classroom? Yeah, so um, I really found a community of people that love the same things I do. Um, one is uh, God and Christianity. Another is uh, traveling. And so a lot of people travel with me. We went to like Seattle, uh, the Virgin Islands. I think those are some of the biggest memories I'll have from Georgia Tech. Yeah, and some of the pictures that we're showing up on the video board now, you have a, a kind of a big group that's gotten together. And it seems like it's kind of the same folks in that group. You d develop a pretty tight knit uh, community here. For sure. I started out going to House Church, which was uh, Grace Midtown's community, um, and then I developed a community in RUF, and so those were my closest friends throughout Georgia Tech, and they really stuck with me. Uh, All right. Shout out time. Who do you want to say hi to? Uh, my mom and dad and sister in the stands, um, and then my grandma and uh, Miss Stevens, Rachel and Michaela, who are online. All right. Thank you so much, Katie, for joining us, and congratulations. Yeah, thank you. That's Katie Jordan. She is joining just about everybody here, at least down on the field, as becoming an alumni now at Georgia Tech in one of the strongest and most supportive alumni networks in the entire country. She's joining it twice as a double jacket, but everybody here will have a chance to be a part of that. And here's a message from our alumni association. So I'm here on stage with another graduate from today's master ceremony. Can you introduce yourself to everybody and tell everybody what you're studying? Sure. Hi, I'm Hannah Mion, and I'm studying computer science um, with a specialization in interactive intelligence. Okay, so you are a double jacket. So this is your second degree here from Georgia Tech. If you already earned your degree before, you know, why come back? Why stay at Georgia Tech longer to earn this second degree? Well, Georgia Tech's master's program is very prestigious, and I'm very lucky that I got to go here during undergrad. So they had a BSMS program that allowed me to complete my master's in one year, and I was very interested in interactive intelligence, so I just decided to go for it. All right. Well, I mean, that makes a lot of sense. That does make a lot of sense. And you were able to earn it so quickly. That sounds like a pretty good thing. So you've still spent a lot of time here at Georgia Tech as a double jacket. Do you have a favorite memory, or is there something that you think that you'll miss most about being here at Georgia Tech? 
I'll definitely miss the supportive community here from my friends to the faculty. Everyone's be been very involved in my success. Um, my favorite memory, I would say, is one specific Six Flags night that George Tech hosted um, a couple years ago. Um, it was a great time. Um, George Tech booked out all of Six Flags and um, got to ride all the roller coasters. <laughs> No, that sounds amazing. I love Six Flags, so that, that sounds like a great memory. So I do have to ask, though, what is next for you? I'm going to work at KPMG in consulting. Okay, so now you have both your degrees, you have a job lined up. How do you feel finally being able to walk across the stage today? I'm very excited. I'm very happy and very grateful. Okay, so before I let you go, anybody you want to say hi to watching online or here in the audience? I'm going to say hi to my parents. They're in the audience um, and to all my friends watching. All right, thank you. I really appreciate you taking the time to chat with us. I have one more student to introduce you all to. Right here, I have Michael Hilmer. So can you tell everybody what's your, what's your first and last name again and what you're studying here? Sure. So as you mentioned, my name is Michael Hilmer, and I'm finishing up my master's now in computer science here at Georgia Tech. Yep. Okay, so you are an OMSES student, correct? correct? This is your first time here on campus. How do you feel coming to Georgia Tech for your first time? So honestly, it's a dream come true. I did apply to Georgia Tech and got accepted for undergrad. I ended up going to Notre Dame instead. But one of my buddies said at some point, hey, have you checked out this online master's program for Georgia Tech? So I was like, cool, I get to be a jacket still. And um, just being remote and everything, you know, it was kind of weird not being able to come to campus. But they did their first conference this year for online students. So I came for that. And then now got to explore campus for the first time. So honestly, it's, this is like the best experience I could have given doing my degree online, I guess, for this week. So it's been, it's been a dream come true. No, that's amazing. And Notre Dame's a great school, but I think you made the right decision here uh, to earn your master's. So, but you're also active in the U.S. Air Force, and I've heard that you've been able to travel to a lot of different places. Do you have a favorite place you've been able to travel to or work in as being a part of the U.S. Air Force? Sure. So I actually spent, um, I just moved to D.C., but before that, um, I was serving in Hawaii for three years. So honestly, that was awesome because I had some late nights kind of working on homework and getting projects done to make sure I had free time on the weekends. But it was sweet being able to, like, go every single weekend, wake up on Saturdays to go surfing, scuba diving, hiking. So that was honestly probably my favorite location I've been so far. Okay, I'm pretty jealous. I love Georgia Tech, but Hawaii, Hawaii might take the cake a little bit on the weather. Um, so you're still part of the U.S. Air Force. What's next for you now that you've earned this degree? Correct. So I want to keep working in the cyber security field, um, but for right now I'm going to keep serving in the D.C. area as a cyber officer for the Air Force. Okay. Anybody here you want to say hi to or watching online that has been uh, supporting you along this journey? Sure, yeah. Big thanks um, and shout out to my parents um, who drove up from Charleston and then my brother who made the flight down from Madison. So I appreciate y'all being here. Thank you for all your support. I love you and uh, go Jackets. All right. I appreciate it. That is Michael Hilmer. But for now, we're going to introduce to one last student who I've actually had the chance to meet. He's incredible. His name is Mirza Samnani. I was looking for my uh, master's uh, colleges and graduate schools and I, Georgia Tech was in the top four for aerospace engineering. I always loved airplanes and to make an airplane I had to learn about aerospace engineering. But it just happened to be that while I was uh, uh, pursuing my degree that my career shifted from uh, airplanes to more of space science and uh, space systems. This project that I worked on was BioX2, also named as Biological Exploration 2, and uh, I worked on it for almost just over two years, and it launched uh, to the International Space Station with uh, SpaceX uh, CRS-26, and uh, I got to operate this payload in space, and something that had my name and my signature in was actually in space. It was a very thrilling experience. The first time that I ever witnessed a, a rocket launch was when my payload was sitting on top of a Falcon 9 in Cape Canaveral and just watching it launch three miles away and feeling that vibration and the intensity of a rocket launch, especially when you have something that you've built on sitting on the top of a rocket, that was a very surreal experience. My role was to, uh, to create the control board for controlling all the peripherals and the co electronic components and additionally also doing the software. So it was, it was actually very stressful to make it work and making sure we are following all the norms laid down by NASA and, and the uh, Space Launch Provider. Uh, overall, it was uh, fun, but yet stressful. 
Oh, it feels a, a sense of accomplishment because uh, I've had worked on various robots before, like underwater robots, uh, surface robots, uh, even some drones. But this was like going beyond orbit, right into space. So that kind of like completed my realm of robotics, right from underwater robotics to like orbit, so ocean to orbit. My life goals and the uh, the statement mission of George Tech that is progress and service kind of coincide because uh, you can make as much progress uh, from a personal level as you want. However, it's more important to make a difference by doing service. And uh, that's what my purpose for engineering is, that uh, you gain enough skills to make your life better and then you help out people that are in dire need of like uh, these resources that are not available to them in a regular setting. So uh, in, in June uh, this year, I'll be starting working at NASA JPL. Actually, I'll be working as a robotics engineer. Uh, and uh, that actually was my dream just a few years ago and now that's actually a possibility just because of the projects I did at George Tech and the exposure George Tech gave me overall. All right and I'm here now with Mirza on the stage we're getting closer and closer to the start of our master's commencement ceremony and Mirza we showed what you're doing next and kind of what you're doing now but you have come up with a lot of really cool things in your time here at Georgia Tech First thing I want to talk about is this avalanche detection system. Tell me what that is, where it was, and how it came to be. Sure. So uh, it started with a person reaching out to me uh, saying that, hey, I looked at your COVID robots work, and like, can you help us design this early warning system or these towers? So I was like, yeah, sure. And it turned out to be a very impactful project where just by monitoring like nine or 10 environmental parameters, you can actually detect how quick or how uh, quick an avalanche is approaching. So that would like alert the community living there and would probably save a bunch of lives. And this was in Tajikistan, is that correct? Yes. And, and why is it important there? Uh, because uh, that region is like a little uh, a poorer region and uh, it is a vulnerable community. Uh, and they do not have anything that exists at the moment. And whatever um, systems exist, they are like super expensive. So this was like to like make this something economical for them so that it can be like scaled up very easily. So something that can help a lot of people. And then you also came up with another idea and thing that helped a lot of people during the pandemic that involved a robot. Tell me about this. Yeah, sure. So uh, the idea was like how we send robots to Mars for exploration because it's like safer to send robots rather than humans. Similarly, I de developed a robot that could like em emulate a nurse and like take patient vitals, telemedicine. Uh, it would deliver food and medicine to the patients, and also it would have uh, a patient vitals where a doctor would like see it real time to like diagnose the patient. What was it like for those patients? I mean, obviously, during that time, you couldn't get real close, but some of the feedback you were getting about how the, inter the robot is interacting with patients and what the folks at the hospitals were talking about when it came to that actually being applied. Yeah, sure. So it was uh, it was actually a very new thing because like they hadn't like seen a robot like doing the task of a nurse before. So it was very fascinating for them. You would like see uh, little kids walking around with the robots and like taking pictures with it. Uh, so it was like kind of a cool experience. So Mirza Samnani, a very, very busy man during his time here at Georgia Tech. Shout out time for you. Who do you want to say hello to? So I would like to say hello to my parents who are watching it online, couldn't make it here. I also would like to say hello to folks from the Planetary Exploration Lab, my advisor, Dr. Carr, uh, my friends, uh, and uh, folks from my community who are like my parents, uh, and I call them family, and uh, everyone who made me uh, become a hell of an engineer. All right, congratulations. Just like Mirza, every Georgia Tech student has an origin story. Maybe you remember where you were when you got admitted to Georgia Tech. Here's a little story about some of the incoming freshmen and first year students coming to Georgia Tech, where Georgia Tech went on campus and surprised them. We are here to deliver exciting news to four Drew Charter students. They've been accepted to Georgia Tech early admissions. It's a big, big deal. The family is thrilled. The, the faculty and, and staff at Drew are thrilled. They already have an existing pipeline of students at Georgia Tech that are having a great experience and excited to send more. So this is a great day for me and it's a great day for Georgia Tech. I am here to sort of give you all your decisions a little bit earlier than 5 p.m. Uh, 
up and read that first sentence. I, <laughs> I was pretty unsure, I'm not even gonna lie. Um, I've seen like previous Drew students who've gotten it, so that gave me a little hope, but I also knew how like rigorous tech is and how they might like a certain kind of student. But I knew that I was also very well-rounded and had the skills to be best of the both worlds. Georgia Tech is a special place. It's a place that will change your life. It absolutely changed mine. So I went, I'm actually a product of the Atlanta public school system. I went to Doug, to Douglas, and then I went to North Carolina A&T undergrad, but I did my master's and PhD at Georgia Tech, and it changed my life forever. Um, and it's gonna do the exact same thing for you all. I'm just so excited that Nadia has this opportunity to go to Georgia Tech. Uh, this means everything to her. This is her first choice. It aligns with her goals um, and what she wants to study. And, and our family is just super excited for her to have this opportunity. This has been a huge relief. I mean, I've, my heart's been like thumping every single day since like December 1st. This was probably like one of the slowest days of my life. Like I was like, I need to know, I need to know and here I am now. All right, well, they may be checking their watches in the stands. They may be looking at their phones and seeing that we're getting close to commencement. Oh, look, there's, <laughs> there's someone walking right through the camera shot. Thank you very much, Michael Haggerty of Institute Communications. That is, you're going to be fine for that. All right, so, and again, <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was great. Anything you know, goes live. when you're doing a live show. It's live. It's it live. It happens. And we're, we're not quite ready to get things going just yet. We're trying to iron out a couple of things with the weather. So you get more time with Commencement Live. We've told many of our student stories here already at Georgia Tech, but we have some more students that we want to talk to. Let's go over to the stage where we've just pulled some random folks up. And that's what Tyler and Evan are going to speak to those Georgia Tech Masters graduates. What's going on over there, guys? Hey, we're here with some graduates. Can you tell me what is your name and what did you get your degree in? Hey, my name is Mark, and I got my degree in Master of Sustainable Energy, Environmental Management. Shout out to my cohort over there. Yep. Wow, so I'm not sure, what does that major entail? Um, a lot of sustainability stuff, learning about the sustainable development goals, just figuring out how we can build better, smarter, more equitably for everybody in the future. That's really awesome. And do you know what you're going to be doing after this? Uh, work, more degrees, anything like that? <laughs> Um, I might be back here, I might be working, maybe a bit of both. We're going to figure that out. Um, but, you know, we're not focusing on that right now. We're just going to see where it goes. Uh, yeah, I think I'm in a good position, though, so we're, we're good. I like to hear it. We're all here today to celebrate, so let's focus on right now. And while we're focusing right now, is there anyone in the stands here with you or online that you'd like to shout out? Yes, of course. Shout out to my parents. Thank you guys for coming here and supporting me. Shout out to my roommate that drove me in the rain because I really didn't want to walk. Shout out to my aunts and uncles, everybody watching online. Thank you all for being here. And of course, my professors and classmates. Great. Thanks so much. And congratulations. Thank we have another graduate to speak to. Hi. Can you tell me your name and what your major is? Um, so hi, I'm Elizabeth Umana. I'm graduating, same degree, a Master of Sustainable Energy and Environmental Management in Public Policy. That's awesome. I see one of my favorite traditions here is people celebrating and decorating their grad caps. Can you tell me a little bit about your grad cap and what that is? Um, so I love gardening and like that's literally sustainability. So it says in full bloom and basically it represents like, you know, I'm graduating, I'm getting into a new phase of life and I'm in full bloom. So, yeah. uh, I love that so much. Uh, is there anyone here celebrating that with you? Um, my parents, my friends, my sister, they're in the stands. Um, yeah, thank you for the support and you know, being here, yes. That's great, thanks so much and congratulations. We're gonna toss back to the desk and meet some more students. I am a student, but not at Georgia Tech, so we're not going to meet any more students over here. What we are going to do is uh, talk a little bit about today and what our favorite moments are when it comes to commencement. You know, it used to be for me the balloon release, but we're not doing that anymore for environmental reasons, and that's a good reason. But now I'm thinking my favorite thing is the shout out because the young man over there who shout out to his ride, that's just fantastic. Yeah. Like, take care of your ride. And shout out to him because that, your roommate bringing you in the rain, that's a good roommate. Right? Um, my favorite moment of commencement, I say this every time, it's the fashion. You yeah. know, I love to see the shoes, the dresses, the girls wearing the dresses, and the, sh the guys wearing the sneakers. It's my favorite part. I get so excited. Speaking of fashion, this jacket is fantastic, Ayana. <laughs> I thought I'd go a little flashy today for, for the rec desk. Yeah, you got to go good <laughs> on the rec desk. You know, I'm just classic, classic <laughs> gold, white, and blue, just like Georgia Tech. 
So we've still got a little bit more time before we get things going here, but I do want to show you all about something that's happening here at Georgia Tech. You know, we have so much research going on on campus, so many cool things in robotics and AI, and this one melded those two things and the sport of tennis. Yes, at Georgia Tech, they are teaching robots to play tennis. Let's take a look. My name is Matthew Gamble. I'm an assistant professor in the School of Interactive Computing. We do a variety of research in my lab to develop systems that can interact with people, learn through that interaction in their environment. So we developed a tennis playing robot that is basically a robot arm that is mounted on top of a wheelchair specifically designed for the sport of wheelchair tennis. The current capabilities of the robot are that it can hit the ball back against a ball launcher. It can adjust for the variance in the ball launcher and it can hit the ball back over the net to the other side of the court. We take a system of cameras around the tennis court to look at the court and see where the tennis ball is. When we use cameras from different angles, we can triangulate where the ball is in space. We then make a plan of where the robot is and where we want it to be. So we can plan where the wheelchair needs to swing to hit the ball at a specific intercept point in the trajectory. The recent uh, testing that we did on the court, we showed that it can now start to hit back against a human player. Uh, we want it to like improve further and in the future we want the system to be able to rally against a, a human player. If we can figure out how to get this right on the tennis court, have a robotic system that can quickly perceive where the ball is, how the ball is spinning, where it's going to go into the future in order to be able to plan a trajectory to get there in time and, and hit it back and not just hit it, but actually hit it to the right spot. I think if we can solve so many of those problems and do it at the speed and the scale of tennis, then a lot of the problems that we have in, in manufacturing and robotics in the home are going to be a lot easier because we developed a system that can be safe at those speeds. All right, we are just moments away. I promise this time we are moments away from getting started. If you're here in the stands, we need you to listen up right now because we're going over a little bit of direction about how we are going to go through this process. So what you will do is you will be ushered out of your row to form a line over here, all the way over here. There's a spot where there will be a photographer. They will snap your photo. You'll look this way. You'll get your photo. You'll look really good. All of you look fantastic right now. Then you'll continue to move this way. As you're moving this way, you'll want to get out your grad pass on your phone. Here's a pro tip. Pull it all the way up to full brightness and take a screenshot of it right now. That way you can just pull that image up. You don't have to worry about slow Wi-Fi. We've all been on edgy room, okay? All right, so moving forward, and I don't have one, so we're just going to do the fake beep boop. You, you show it, it goes beep boop. If you do not hear the beep boop, move to the side and we'll have some people to help you out, okay? That is what plays your name over the loudspeaker. That's what everybody came here to hear and see and watch you do. You're gonna make your way up to the stage, all right? Photo opportunity here should be nice, raindrops coming down. Dr. Cabrera will be right over here. You'll see there's a little spot for him. There's some tape on the ground. Thank you very much, Leland. This is where you'll come. You'll do your handshake. Photo opportunity, look to the camera, cheese it out, and continue moving forward. As you walk down the stage, you can smile. We'll probably have more photographers here. You can find yourself on the Georgia Tech Instagram maybe a little bit later on today. And then you'll move this way around to the Ramblin' Wreck where you'll get your photo with the wreck. After you're done with that, you'll make your way back to the row in which you were and enjoy the rest of the ceremony. We've just got a couple more seconds here, so for the fans out there, all the friends and family who have come, you may want to understand where your student might be, all right? So moving from this left side, the very first part of it will be the interdisciplinary region. Further back, College of Computing. Then when you get to this area right here, this is Ivan Allen. Then we move on past Ivan Allen to the College of Design. Then Scheller College of Business. The College of Sciences. And the College of Engineering. 
All right, so we can't tell you exactly where your student is, but when you see those people in those areas, make sure that you've got your camera ready and you are set to take a picture. Well, that is it for Commencement Live. We thank you so much for joining us here today. It is now time to honor the brave and bold, those that have worn the white and gold, the graduates of Georgia Tech's master's programs in 2023. Congratulations and have a fantastic commencement today, everybody. Welcome to Georgia Tech's Spring Commencement. Students, please rise for the faculty processional. Good afternoon. Good afternoon and, and welcome. Buenas tardes. Bienvenidos. Please rise and remain standing for the singing of the national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last 
fast gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rockets red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. Big thanks to the Georgia Tech Chamber Choir for that beautiful performance. You'll get to enjoy them when they sing the fight song at the end. You have something to look forward to. Please be seated. My name is um, Angel Cabrera, and I have the privilege of serving as Georgia Tech's president. Before we get started with today's proceedings, I would like for us to take a moment to recognize all veterans and active service members with us today as well as first responders in the audience who do so much to keep us all safe. If you have served in any branch of the U.S. military, or served as first responder, please rise so we can recognize you. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you for your service. So graduates, Members of the faculty and staff, distinguished guests, families, friends, it is my great pleasure to welcome you to the 264th commencement exercises at the Georgia Institute of Technology. What a pleasure it is to be together with you at Bobby Dodd for this special occasion. The first speaker today will be one of our graduating students. I'm pleased to, int to introduce Natalie Huertas, who has brought her fan club um, with her, who's also a master's degree candidate in digital media and who will give the student reflection. Natalie? Thank you for doing this. Well, what a wonderful day to graduate, huh? My message today is simple. Purpose comes from perspective. As I stand before this assembly of fellow graduate students, faculty, and supporters, the sense of amazement and gratitude is nearly overwhelming, as this moment was almost unthinkable just a few years ago. In September of 2019, I was diagnosed with acute promyelocytic leukemia. Faced with the diagnosis that I was two weeks away from the unthinkable without immediate treatment, life abruptly paused. Existential questions loomed large. What will recovery look like? How can I rediscover my purpose in this life? To try to find that purpose, I submitted a graduate school application to my dream school, Georgia Tech, and it worked. To say that the last four semesters have been amazing would be the understatement of my life. Because Georgia Tech is just the best. How so? The passion and determination of my fellow graduate students inspires me. When we envelop ourselves in the research, the projects, we, we risk losing light and sight of that story. However, when you come together to navigate those challenges, you offer clarity and insight to a fellow peer. Your cultural and intellectual diversity makes us stronger, and you prove the power of interdisciplinary research. I never expected my fine art background to come in handy to discuss the value of art and beauty to computation students, but here we are, it did. <laughs> you can do that here. Within each of your stories, there is strength. I'm proud to be a Yellow Jacket who now has a family and home to always come back to. The memories we've collected during our time at Georgia Tech 
make us more complete. Whether you're just stepping onto campus for the first time, or you've discovered, even as a graduate student, the joy of taking the occasional and casual stroll past Britain Dining Hall. You are part of that family. Also, I love you, Buzz. So look to the left and to the right of you. You all built this foundation to start the rest of your life. Please lean on one another to protect that. One cannot measure purpose alone. It takes a village to keep that community alive. Georgia Tech gave me, and I hope to you all, a vantage point to find a better perspective. Cancer gave me a perspective to shoot for Georgia Tech. And I'm incredibly grateful to say that as of today, I am three years in remission. <sighs> Purpose came from that perspective. Thank you. Thank you, Natalie. Thank you for sharing that personal story. So graduates, you will be joining today the impressive community of Georgia Tech alumni, a community of leaders, of innovators, of thinkers and doers who are making a difference across our state and around the world. Many of them are here today to celebrate your success. I know several of them personally. Our alumni appreciate your accomplishments, perhaps more than anybody else, and they may even be part of the reason why you're here today. So to all our alumni joining us in the audience today, please stand so we can recognize you. Thank you. To welcome you formally into the Fellowship of Georgia Tech alumni, I'm pleased to introduce Mr. Magid Riyad, an industrial engineering graduate from the class of 2001 and the current chair of the board of the Georgia Tech Alumni Association trustees. Magid. Good afternoon. You did it. Congratulations. What an incredible achievement and lifestone, lifelong achievement and milestone. As chair of the Georgia Tech Alumni Association Board of Trustees, it is my distinct honor to welcome you into one of the most powerful and coveted networks in the world. You are now part of a Yellow Jacket family consisting of over 190,000 alumni globally. As you share today with your family, your friends, professors, the Georgia Tech community, what we are really excited about is your next chapter, where each of you have the opportunity to create, innovate, and tackle some of the biggest problems and opportunities of our day. As an alumni family, we share a common fabric, what it means to be a yellow jacket. From rat caps to big football games, late night studying, really hard courses, living on this beautiful campus, and dreaming big, all the fun and hard work that have gone along with being at Tech. For me, I was in the graduating class of 2001 with a degree in industrial and systems engineering. With a lens of about 25 years, here is what I can share. First, lifelong friends. The relationships you have made over time at Tech will be with you for life. They are the foundation of what will carry you forward and always remember to lean on those relationships and your friends. Second, you work hard to achieve your best. And even when the achievement doesn't equate to a success, a failure can really pivot a situation and bring you so much further along than a, a success would have. I feel like I have learned to work hard and have translated that success and formula into what I view as a very, very blessed career. Third, and fortunately, I don't have to talk much about my GPA anymore 
but for me, tech really was the rocket ship it promised to be. Once I got out, I, was really, I really benefited from being a yellow jacket. I had the opportunity to learn from several respected companies and then went on to lead my own venture. We share traits from our time at tech and we don't give up. We work hard to solve problems and we know how to work hard as a team. To me, this is basically the power of faith and perseverance. And I feel like you will go far because of these traits and will come to appreciate, as I have, how these traits have been ingrained in us as Yellow Jackets. Over the next few years, life is going to change. You're going to move to new cities, go on to lead new industries, take on new challenges, and you will realize how beneficial it is to rely on your Yellow Jacket family. The Alumni Association is here to help. Already, since the beginning days of your, your time here, we have been giving you advice, connecting you to mentors, celebrating your achievements, and raising funds to, towards your experience. Stay in touch and get engaged. Let us celebrate when you get a new job, get married, expand your family, move to a new city, get a promotion, or just want to check in. The Georgia Tech Alumni Association will always provide you with the connections you need and the networking opportunities in your local communities and abroad. Friendships that we hope will continue for a lifetime. You can always call Tech home. This is a special place steeped in tradition and as alumni, you will always be part of that family. May your pursuits be successful, your friendships rich, and your life full of buzz. Go Jackets! Thank you, Maggot. This weekend, we celebrate an outstanding new class of bachelor's, master's, and PhD graduates from uh, this amazing class of 2023. The, uh, People we honor today represent more than 40 different countries, every corner of our state, of our country, and a multitude of disciplines. When you look at colleagues around you, you're surrounded by scholars versed in chemistry and biology, history and psychology and physics, bright minds who can derive intelligence from complex data, innovators who can build satellites, robots, bridges, medical devices, leaders who can create and run businesses, even shape policy for the better. You're all yellow jackets, confident, capable, and creative problem solvers. You have traveled the world and can communicate in dozens of languages. You understand the power of collaboration and have been empowered to lead. You make me extremely hopeful about the future. But for all this potential to make a difference, there's something I ask of you to always remember, progress and service. Progress and service. There are more than just two words on our institute seal. They define us. They speak to our long-held belief in the power of scientific and technological pro uh, progress to improve the human condition to help people live better lives. I know you will succeed wherever you go, whether you pursue a career and continue your studies in academia or you go to government or business, whether you help an existing business grow or you create your own, I know you'll do well. In fact, small little warning, when you're rich and famous, expect a call from our development office. We know where you live. But as much as I wish you a very successful career, remember that our true success won't be measured by the wealth we accumulate, but by the value we create for others. At the end of the day, what will make you proud, what will make your family and all of us proud, is what you did to lift others to serve those around you, to make a difference in our world. Joining us here in person, and many of them following online, are members, family members, friends, colleagues, whose love and support have helped make this day possible. Our students know perfectly well they wouldn't be here if they weren't for you. 
and for that we thank you. We appreciate everything you've done for our students. I also want to recognize the faculty and staff members who have guided and mentored these students, offering time, wisdom, expertise to help our Yellow Jackets reach their fullest potential. Would members of our faculty and staff please stand to be recognized? Thank you all for a job well done. Now I'm honored to introduce some members of our leadership team who are joining us uh, here on the platform. Please hold your applause as they stand when I call their names. Others will be introduced later. Mike Shannon is our Interim Executive Vice President for Administration and our Chief Business Officer. Larry Jacobs, Senior Vice Provost for Education and Learning. Michelle Reinhardt, Vice Provost for Faculty. Paul Cohn, Vice Provost for Enrollment Management. Aisha Johnson, Associate Dean for Academic Affairs and Outreach in the Libraries. Luisa Russo, Interim Vice President for Institute Communications. Rita Pikowski, Register. Our maze bearer today also is with us today on the platform, Mary Malavi, Dean and Stephen Zelnak, Jr. Chair for the Scheller College of Business. I want to acknowledge that these ceremonies mark the last with Dean Alavi in her current role. I thank her for her service, for what she has done to build up the Scheller College, and I can't wait to continue to work with her as a colleague in the faculty. Thank you all. Many of you know I've played several different roles at Georgia Tech over the years. I've been a student, an alum, a parent, an advisor, a spouse. Now I have the privilege of serving as president. So I know very well that being a yellow jacket is something very special, something you will treasure for the rest of your lives. I also know how transformative a Georgia Tech degree is. Like so many other alumni over the generations, I can proudly say that nothing I have ever accomplished in my career would have been possible without the opportunities I had at Georgia Tech and the people I met here. Now it's your turn. You will forever be connected to this great institution, and we cannot wait to see the great things you will continue to do as our newest Yellow Jackets. Congratulations, class of 2023. And now it's my distinct honor and pleasure to introduce Chance the Chancellor of the University System of Georgia and former Georgia Governor, Sonny Perdue. <laughs> Chancellor Perdue oversees the state's 26 public colleges and universities, serving more than three 140,000 students. Yes, it's a pretty big job. During his term as our state's 81st governor, Georgia's high school posted the highest graduation rate in SAT scores in state history. And we're benefiting still to this day at Georgia Tech because we recruit most of those, most of the brightest students, so thank you. Before becoming our chancellor, Dr. Purdue served as U.S. Secretary of Agriculture for, from 2017 to 2021. He launched the Farmers to Families Food Box program to help provide food for vulnerable Americans during the height of the COVID-19 pandemic. Chancellor Purdue is a Georgia native. He's a veteran. He's a veterinarian. He earned a Doctor of Veterinary Medicine degree from the University of Georgia and served four years in the United States Air Force. Georgia Tech class of 2023 and our entire Yellow Jacket community, please give a warm welcome to Chancellor Sonny Perdue. Natalie, 
I think I'm going to need to borrow your fan club over here. What about it, huh? <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. President Cabrera, faculty, staff, honored guests, family members, and most especially you all, the class of 2023. I'm honored and excited to be here with you today. I hope you all are proud because you should be. With these graduate degrees, you've, made, or you've reached a major milestone in your personal lives and your academic careers. You should be celebrating, and frankly, I realize I'm standing between you and that celebra celebration. But don't worry, I'm going to keep my remarks brief. Trust me, I'm not nearly arrogant enough to think that you came here to hear me today. I've heard it said of commencement speakers, President Cabrera, they're like the body at a wake. You need them for the ceremony, but you don't expect them to say much. This afternoon, I have the honor of celebrating your hard work as a representative of the University System of Georgia. As chancellor, I get the opportunity to work with the Board of Regents to help guide all 26 of our public universities and colleges, which now serve almost 340,000 students. And Georgia Tech is one of those 26. And even as someone who earned a doctorate from UGA, I must admit, it's a pretty darn good school. In fact, if you, uh, if you promise not to tell my fellow dogs, I'm actually wearing gold and white underwear today with a streak of navy. It, uh, it ranks as one of the world's best research institutions. Its degrees are recognized globally and let everyone know you learn from a world-class faculty, top staff, and talented fellow students. This institution, your university, and in a few minutes, your alma mater, is a major contributor to Georgia, the nation, and the world. Its research is renowned. Its impact is unquestioned. And now you are part of that unfolding legacy of success. So go out into the world and create a worthy future, not only for yourselves, but for one that will represent this institution our entire university system, and this state as well. In other words, go out there and make us look good. Why? Because we share one another's and we will share one another's reputation. You have the knowledge, thanks to one of the best institutions in the world. Now use it well as ambassadors on behalf of your alma mater. Let me just share uh, three simple pieces of advice today. It's really the kind of advice that your grandmother may have shared. The first, be generous. And I know what you're thinking. Maji, this is not an alumni society, society giving solicitation. That will come later. But we often think as generosity as a personality trait. You're either generous or you're not, like it's baked into your DNA. But the fact that generosity is a practice, and I encourage you to cultivate it. If you cultivate practice, it soon has become a habit. It doesn't take a lot of money to be generous. You can give your time, your possessions, your empathy, and your talents. Try looking at generation as something you get to do instead of something you should do. And remember, being generous reaches farther, further than you can ever imagine. Allow me to share a quick story. There was a widow in the Northeast who had just Christmas time had come and she had just lost her husband that year and was sort of moaning him and wondering how she could honor the legacy of their 55 year uh, marriage. And so she walked by a red kettle that we all see at Christmas time and thought about, took off her engagement ring and wedding band and put it in an envelope and wrote a note hoping that some well-to-do person would find that note in those rings and contribute much more than those rings were worth. Well, that happened as she put that in there. It was found by a widower also in the Northeast, and he paid $21,000 for about a $2,000 ring in a contribution to the Salvation Army so that poor people could have a better Christmas. I'd love to tell you that those two got together, but I don't know the end of that story other than generosity matters. A Harvard study found that a single person acting generously inspires others to behave generously themselves. In turn, the generosity of these others then spreads to even more people 
who are also more likely to be generous in their actions. Make your generosity contagious to others. Because when you're generous, you're influence, you're influential. And that leads me to my second piece of advice. Act with integrity. Integrity starts with being honest. When our children, when our four children were young, we had a family saying, truth builds trust. And we know that trust is the currency of human relations. And it continues with being forthright and transparent. Follow through on what you say you're going to do. Understand that yes, you may fail, but because even at doing something you promised, and that's okay when that happens, but own it. Act with integrity means you acknowledge what happened and learn from it. Communicate honestly and openly. Take responsibility for your actions, good and not so good. Respect yourself and those around you, no matter who's watching. Sadly, the scarcity of integrity is what makes you stand out when you practice it and show it because you never know who's following along behind you. Do we have any tennis players out here today? Let me talk about a tennis player you may remember. Andy, Andy Roddick, 2005, was one of the top players in the nation. He was in a major tournament in Italy, in Rome, Italy, and he was really had a triple match point in order to win a major tournament going on to the Wimbledon as a precursor. Triple match point. His opponent served a hard serve. He was not able to return. The umpire ruled it out. And the crowd started cheering. The match was his, and the opponent ran to the net to concede. As the crowd cheered, Andy Roddick knew something that they didn't know. He saw that, where that ball hit and knew that it hit the line, which means that it was in. He called the umpire over, showed him where the ball hit. The umpire reversed the call, and then Andy Roddick's opponent went on to win that triple match point, that set, and win that match from him. Andy Roddick missed winning that, along with many thousands of dollars and much fame. But what did he win? He had his integrity intact because he knew he had done honestly what the right thing to be. So. Let's be like Andy Roddick. That leads me to my last bit of advice. Be thankful. Practicing gratitude doesn't have to be hard. In fact, the more you practice it, the better it, the easier it becomes. Take time to appreciate your work, your colleagues, your friends, your loved ones. Grab the opportunity to be thankful for every part of your life. As graduates with your degrees today, I know that you must have many people here today with you and at home and around the world that you can be thankful for. Have an attitude of gratitude for big and small things alike. So think about it for a second. What are you grateful for today? Is it your health, your degree, your education, or maybe even things, things like not having to fight the rush hour to get here? Since you're graduating today, I'm sure your expectations here was made so much more meaningful by one professor or two or several, a staff member, a friend, a colleague, or even a family member. Have you told them how grateful you are for their support and what they've meant to you? So please do that today as you leave. Forgive me and for one more story if you'll allow me to share with you as we close. It had to do with a young woman or an older woman actually who'd worked for 25 or 30 years in a, in a company as a janitor. Most of us know that's not a very thankful job. And many times it's a thankless job and we walk past as if they don't exist in our buildings. Yet, she was discouraged. The company changed ownership and she was thinking about the lack of gratitude in her life and the lack of fulfillment and thinking about making that her last day. Yet a staff member of the new owner of the company came by and handed her an envelope. In that envelope was a personal handwritten note thanking her for her contribution to that company, keeping the, the environment safe and healthy for others that way. She burst into tears. In fact, she was so moved that she had to be excused and go home that day because she had never even received a verbal thank you, much less a handwritten note. So that changed her mind that day to work for a company that valued her service. 
Folks, let's be thankful today. Choose to appreciate things in life. Give thanks every single day. It's never too late to start. It takes some work, but being grateful helps you to cultivate a fulfilling and happy life. Do you know what? Thankful people are happy people. It all sounds simple, but it takes you making a choice to remember these three things. What did your grandmother say? Generosity, integrity, and thankfulness. Look at the first letters of those. What does that spell? G-I-T. You may not remember what I said today, but hopefully you'll remember G-I-T and think about generosity, integrity, and thankfulness as you go your way. So it's my wish for you today to live with those lessons and to continue to thrive as you move on to the next chapter of your life. Embrace every challenge as an opportunity to succeed. Your time at Georgia Tech has made you strong. The relationships you found here have hopefully deepened your compassion. The lessons you've learned here have instilled with you and within you good instincts and resourcefulness and resiliency. These are values that are yours forever, just as your education is. With the degrees you're earning here today, you have the power to move Georgia forward and change the world. And the world better look out because the gold and white together are a powerful force. So on behalf of the university system and the Board of Regents, congratulations, class of 2023. May the future be yours. And dare I say it, may you never forget the good word of GIT, generosity, integrity, and thankfulness, and with all the sincerity within my heart, go Jackets! Well, I'm, I'm gonna start practicing that lesson and by expressing my gratitude to you, Chancellor, thank you for your service. I'm, I'm still in shock that you uh, did that great go Jackets at the end. I hope that's been uh, videotaped I'm going to need that tape after this. We now um, come to the time you have all been waiting for, the conferring of your degrees. So walking across the stage, which is a little wet, but uh, we're going to do this. We're going to do this. We're not going to let a little rain ruin this day. When you walk across the stage, this represents the culmination of a great deal of hard work and an incredible achievement for each of you. I ask, this is very important, that after you receive your recognition on stage, you return to your seat for two reasons. One is I want you to offer your fellow students the same respect they have given you. There's an even more important reason. At the end of the proceedings, I have to pronounce some magic words that will make your degree official. If you're not present when I pronounce those words, I have no idea what may happen to your degree. No one has ever tested this, so don't be the first one to do that. Go back to your seats. Now I'm pleased to welcome my colleague and friend, Provost Steve McLaughlin, who will introduce the academic deans by college. The deans will present the candidates for master's degree. Steve? All right. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's go. We begin with the presentation of master's candidates for interdisciplinary degrees across multiple colleges. Candidates in analytics, Computational Science and Engineering, Quantitative and Computational Finance, Human-Computer Interaction, Bioengineering, Statistics and Cybersecurity, rise and cheer. President Cabrera, I have the honor of presenting to you those candidates for interdisciplinary Master of Science degrees who have completed the requirements for those degrees. David Arthur Johnson. Yeah. 
Lazuardi Aldi Rinaldi. Telia R. LeCount. David C. Stackback. Gens Imeri. Lauren Verity. Sanstrit Sinkai. Mayank Vanani. Pankaj Baishya. Rishipal Karnidan Meru. Bhaskar Roy. Quentin Lee Samuels. Ryan Roger King. Daniel Carl Girardi. Rabia Imad. Zenit Kemal. Mernagar Dorgoli. Sean Wagner Robinson. Brandon Wolfram. Mehran Safizadeh. Aaron Francisco Villarreal Trevino. Andre White. Jake A. Coyne. Andrew Gomez. Vinod Kumar. Jayaprakash Virthaneni. Isaac Espinoza. Indronil Sen. Todd R. McKeever. Abdunasser Erwemi. Alan Lee. Nalik Patel. Michael Cade Long. Hao Su Zhen. Tian Chi Xiao. Michael Zhao. Ching Rong Yang. Zi Yan Liu. Jin Guo. Dong Suk Jiang. Ayush Perwal. Tian Zi Tracy Ren. Jared Tian Yi Chai. Vijay Nara. Jonathan Nativ. Fayaz Jamil. George Thakadath. Lena Maria Correa Diaz. Yi Jia Wang. Han Wen Zhang. Kui Lin Jin. Yanan Chiao. 
David Yu, Emily Ji Young Kim, Wanda Guo, Yi Ji Huang, Yi Fan Hu, Zi Ham Dong. Ying Li, Jesse Hu, Janice Rong Lin, Jia Xing Shen, Yi Ming Chen, Shainu Prakash. Godson Adejumo, Zachary Lowenberger, Rachel Catherine Bassett, Radha Jayamangalam, Joshua Allen Shafrin, Nathaniel Paul Bellis. Kin Man Lee, Vivek Malampati, Santos Tantravahi, Bala Ramachandran, Jeremy Alexander Collins, Cody James Huff. Chao Tang Yang, Gautam Gurajan, Shitij Pisal, Ganesh Davendrapa Vanahali, Tenzin Chokden Kangsar. Vishal Hariharan, Vashista Singal Vinod, Trishla Choksi, Aaron Michael Taylor, Asha Gutlapali, Vatan Kapadia. Shoel Bader, Olavo Borges de Oliveira Filho, Shinxian Apulingam, Ujwal Gupta, Alexis Chua, Lisa Gregory Chile. Crystal Johnson, Yusuf Ali, Shridhar Reddy Velagala, Vamsi Krishna Chakravarti Ravilla, Sarat Mutnuru, Yatiendra Vunam. Jacob Lubeck, Gregory Parker, Joseph Dominic Gaggiano, Jordan Anthony Cutseries, Sajal Sarkar, Ina Patricia Canlapan. Roberto Nieves, Sefi Dalal, Kirsten Valdez, 
Grant William Austin, Thomas Theodore McFan, Tinamutenda Chikate, Christopher Michael Batistas, Ganapati Raman Balaji. Jalen Alexandra Williams, Ji Hao Li, Bavin Kumar Patel, Ann Tui Te Tran, Ashlyn Oliver, Karthik Sundaraj. Sharon Ban, Stacy Lee, Linda Lee, Teresa Shea, Tyler Norman, Adriana Molinari. Kenya Morelvis Way, Kayetan Hinch, Helly Jane, Robert Bingaman, Kevin Patrick Englert. Natalie Shalbo Zhang, Kar Yen Chan, Valerie Schnapp, Kurt Mario Benello, Sri Ram Jayabalan, Vishwanath Jayaraman. Anna Han Choi, Michelle An Shin Ko, James Alexander Plager, Abhinav Tanka, Mihal Krupa, Andy Wei. Yulu Wang, Roland Yang, Zhou Jun Sun, Withushi Jane, Shaliza Jivani, Lucas Raphael Schmid, Sandeep Prasad, Keval Chandrasbai Desai, Samia Agarwal, Minghui Liu. Krishna Kumar, Wei Chen, Sumit Machve, Jenny Ayash, Bradley Mark Bryant. Thomas Westbrook, Tom Connor, Jake Gord, 
Brantley Heron Alvenos. Maxwell Nelson. Maria Paula Lengua Espejo. Ayana Monet Herbert. Thomas Holden Ottolin. Taylor Jane Bungie. Yugvir Paul Singh Parhar. Yu Feng Wang. Ting Hui Lin. Srijan Jower. Stuart Holloway. Goksa Silin Yilmaz. Shravan Ramakrishna. Sadarth Gudiduri. I Me Tai. Richard Rembert. Matthew Robert Bailey. Brianna N. Cope. Arjun Sin Prashant Nakum. Ethan Lil. Thomas Craig Woodard. Claire Hopkins. Michelle Autumn Kwok. Ray Hateman. Nancy Patricia Freeman. Srijika Shreshta. Voya Ren. Hao Yue Chen. Elisa Zhang. Ramisa Mershed. Tamira Deandra Smith. Madeline Paulson. Doris Amuzu. Rishi Tulasiraman. Abhinav Tukral. Shitij Gupta. Mudra Nagda. Watson Hartso. Vishnu Harsha Boyapati. Sarah Abdullah. Karim Daudi. Andrea Koltai. Kevin Tunney. Anderson Kunho Kim. Kelsey Bates. Oyanzaya Batdorj. Daigil Yang. Ritu Raj. Daniel Martin Baccaro. Joseph Ayub. Ankur Garg. Keval Shah. Daniel James Chu. Kyle Leinert. Jun Yi Zhang. Xiang Yu Jia. Ting Yu. 
Sarath Nataraj. Madison Bailey Grossbeck. Avni Modak. Rajat Mera. Ujwal Kumar Thakur. Mohammed Omar Farooq. Tiffany Vang Tha Boy. Rachel Haystrider. Kieran Murphy. Manasa Gantazala. Carly Beth Newcomb. Natalie Mung U Ye. Beverly Antonia Vaz. Jin Hu Shh. That's not who that is. Suman Avery Ao. Jing Ying Yao. Jin Hu Shh. Jin Hu Shh. Jin Hoosh. Wen Jing Gui. Are you a shoe? Daniel R. Hislop. Roger Allen Stallworth II. Nicholas Logan Kahn. Stephen Hart. Anthony Maurice Compagnano. John Pierce Redmond. Ryan J. Miller. Tyler Ewer, E.J. Obasi Okorafor, Ling Jing, Tang Tran, An Win, Nina Nguyen. Xiao Luo, Jesse Chiu, Ha Young Wu, Chi Chi Yang, Oluwatobi Taiwo, Sundesh Nathan Deverapoli. Sneha Shaker Subiksha Ramanathan Jinhu Shu Ezekiel Anthony Xavier David Giles Jr. Ujas Salunke. Sujay Kester. David Harrison Scepter. Andrew Joseph Burns. Barkai Barlas. Dongwook Guan 
Rashida Tridento. Ross Nelson Roberts. Yunfei Liao. Yunjong Li. Michelle Zhu. Chelsea Janae Davis. Betul Denise Benzer. Chase Hawken Harrington. Jason Lamont Boykin. Unique R. Glover. Yulia Slesareva Godoy. Elizabeth Lagel Holland. Alexandria Segovia. Lee Johnson. Kalai Nagamani. Melaku A. Weldesenbet. Admasu Belehu Shawangazau. Shinran Yu. Daniel Doe. Jagath Jonalageta. Chandler Kyle McConnell. Brent Radcliffe. Somi Ochuba. Isha Saini. Shashank Shrikant. Vabhav Nagar. Joshua Weintraub. Ricardo Posada. Anupam Sharma. Varun Vangala. Merle Bardwaj. Alexander Anisimov. Minghan Xie. Anusha Shinoy. Adrija Goswami. Vipul Ujawane. Arushi Duvedi. Moman Soleman. Eric Omar Duran Nunez. Brian Gray. Yvette Carino. Anthony Van. Davud Fakhruddin Mohammed. Abirami Murugapan. Anna P. Archer Lebron. Alejandro Vasquez Quijada. Sabrina Lynn Andrichuk. Shannon Harlow. Samesh Bajaj. Breland Tinsley Morissette. Shivam Dishit. Jing Wang. Jacob Marshall Lambert. Tyler Adrian Woolley. 
Yojin Chang, Jun Bai Tian, Alexander Morgan Bird, Jin Su Sai, Alan Heisu. Alan Jong, Bikram Boot, Cambria Rain Caliendo, Olivia Tess Childress, Diego Masariegos, William Zachary Urbistondo. Christopher Lindeman, Mauricio Lopez, Mert Ersaz, Michael Ho, Mudit Chamel, Sanjay Reddy Kandi. Matt Schlosser, Aditi Vishwakarma, Wahib Idris, Kira Coates Mulder, Fanny Lin, Dmitry Shestakov. Austin B. Hensley, Oscar Monhe, Jerome Christopher Lovato, Morgan Kelly Small, Stephen Quadgrass, Siyuan Chen. Carlos Rafael Catalan, Shujie Liu, Jackie He, Jia Xin Guo, Elaine Yiling Lai. Alexander Zachary Otto Falk, Muninder Mina, Abinav Agrawal, Mugandan Murigesen, Rajiv Sham Wadwa, Aviva Smith, Sean Hassam Azu. Neil Ratan Baya, Ayman Mohammed Saeed, Matias Cardona Floru, Reina Ko, Jory Grossman, Chase Alexander Diaz. Tajkia Mosamet, Tangdi Li, Li Fang Tang, Fei Ding, Manisha Bala, Pravin Santhanam. Isha Upadhyay, Michael Cole, Amirta Ganesh Pugarendi, Jared Johnson, David William Court, 
Rachel Hedgepeth. Joyce Amy Shu. Neil Nung Kai Nigel. Bing Lu Ruan. David Richard Sellers Jr. Michelle Georgina Vergara. Lakshmi Modugu. Rushil B. Patel. Manoj Tridara. Rishikesh Kanungo. Prabjot Singh. Mo Maalim. Joyce Wu. Ding Wei Wang. Han Zhong Kang. Sai Krishnan Subramanian. Yan Xiang Zhou. Xunxian Wang. Bei Chen Liang. Xu Rei Chang. Tomasz Yalai. Blake Ruzik. Jacob Swain. Lai Chi Boy Yamilka Estevez Gonzalez Amanda Rittenberry Julia Dashta Morova Nazrin El Hinawi Ali Kaba How long Yan Orion Antonios Birch Sridevi Kashinath Alawandi Megha Tukral Subam Sachin Bate Yilin Zhao Rohit Sudakar Ranveer Singh Thind Sravan Venkata Jayanti Rohit Rohan Gunjan Kumar Yijia Chen I will now introduce the academic deans by college who will present the candidates for master's degrees. Dean Charles Isbell will present the candidates for master's degrees in the College of Computing. Ready? Good afternoon. Well, the candidates for Master's of Science degrees in the largest, most diverse, and funkiest college of computing in the world, please rise and cheer. So many of them. President Cabrera, I have the honor of presenting to you 
all of these candidates for Master of Science degrees who have completed the requirements for these degrees. Sashi Kiran Mehta Ravi. Surya Tej Reddy Viala. Sarat Nukala. Kai Oyang Nikhil Venkatesh Saurish Ganesh Dekne Srinivas Sarab Serpakar Arjun Krishna Serena Gao Eric Matthews Venkata Sai Sri Krishna Duvari Anushka Nese Andrew Hui Shan Zhao Nita Tiagi Henna Mian Asim Bomek Christopher Ryan Quinn Gaurav Chakravarti Rishabh Tukral Pranavi Bajuri Nikita Mohan Kokikar Vaishnavi Gutta Tian Rui Kwan Ting U Lan Jeff Robert Nash Tapash Kanti Day Kong Viet Nguyen Kiran Patnuru Clayton J. Gurgel Swati Sharma Natalie Kate Rakowski Siamala Bondi Mina Chokalingam Jotsna Bharadwaj Roger Sue Christina Isabel Alonso Subramanyam Venkata Durjadi Yue Yang Jishnu Kuruntala 
Sujit Kumar Somanadan, Sandeep Kerarasipali, Anand Narayanan, Kajin Jin, Jayel Benaraj. Jan Vijay Singh, Aman Singh, Abilash Divakaran, Matthew Falkenberg Arishe, Varshini Kanan. Shuyan Lin, Jing Yi Wang, Anam Ahmed, Leia Kate Glazer. Shelly Dalmia, Summer Page Danzizen, Subin Park, Tae Chung Park. Charles Anthony Lopez, Connor Lewis, Richard Stephen Young, Michael Benjamin Burns, Nishant Mittal, Manasa Pamulapati. Vanit Varma, Jonathan Bailey, Devanand Ramalingam, Muhammad Tahir Khan, Uday Bag, Swaminathan Murugesan. Li Xin Zhang, Asin Ali Ihani, Sibish Bashir, Alejandro Jesus Diaz, Suvir Kumar Rabachandra Keshav, Srikanth Subramanian. Tejeswara Kota Kota Hao Shen Mayank Bardwaj Emma Ha Dang Jacob Anthony Young Hyun Park, Yi Fei Li, Shivanshu Dwivedi, Vivin Florence Paris, Pankaj Dahia, Peng Na. Kalan Modi, Snigda Sinha, Nupur Gupta, Kaylee Elizabeth Kofelt, Hazel John, P. 
Rahumi Abenayaka. Rajandeep Singh. Brahmi Dwivedi. Ayushi Agarwal. Sachit Kuhar. Yash Jain. Surya Teja Adlori. Pradyumna Chalapali. Srivatsa P. Ishan Maheshwari. Vidushi Vashisht. Lohit Kumar Bora. Aman Kular. Sivakarthik Ramesh. Kritika Gupta. Hamsika Ramohan. Paritosh Bide. Warad Vikash Godake. Devshri Sunil Boradia. Angana Bora. Jagriti Sikka. Amirtha Varshini. Sanjana Vijay Ganesh. Meegana Deepak. Madumita Murali. Rishab Singhal. Akshay Rajesh Deodar. Lance Song. Kunal Tanwani. Yushuan Wong. Jeremy Kyle Eisenberg. Michael Borodin. Shruti Sarvanan. Nishant Thangara. Ashwin Dube. Sid Nair. Manisha Karani. Michelle Mayumi Thayer Chan. Himanshu Tiagi. Robert James Forwork. Eric Marcel Arevalo. Himangi Pradeep Mordandi. J. Hyan An. Andrew Buck Russell. Viren Kathari. Hiten Hasmuk Rai Delokya. Dalton Wayne Schling. Pejman Kasravi. Divya Umapathy. Mansi Bandari. Medha Puranik. Hector Baez. J. Jagannath. Shope Lanlehin. Darshan Patel. Chris Prozac. Monish Ramadas. 
Adarsh Kanodia, Sanjeev Umesh Rao, Nihar Kalsagar, Shubham Agarwal. Pushya Rajagopalan, Benjamin James Osborne, Michael Charles Dalton Jr., Patrick Joseph, Surya Shekhar Chakraborty, Barun Das. Hassan Navid, Yi Fan Jia, Chu Kang Dong, Sonia Danielle Lemu Tian, Anish Priyam Chaudhary, Hua Dong Pang. Guan Ming Chan, Jia Yuan Chen, Xiao Meng Zhang, An Jin Luo, Amit Tripathi, Caroline Elizabeth Dickey. Magna Batnagar, Naishi Shah, Sharanya Arun Menon, Arohi Sanjay Vaidya, Purva Kulkarni, Ameya Mangal Videkar. Zon N. Lee, Ren Yu Zhang, Mukund Rungta, Gunjan Agarwal, Ram Ramrakya, Harsh Maheshwari, Abinit Jan. Mayank Lunayich, Chandra Srikuthi Matli, Joy Patel, Yash Jakodia, Rucha Sate, Swarali Jayesh Surana, Ritvik Ayer. Sanjeev Gramporohit, Alexander Benjamin Leibowitz, Yu Xiao Liu, Ayush S. Nene, Akash Para, Siddhartha Krishna Vimuri. Ilya Dovidovsky, Regil Joy Koshi, Simon May, Lu Chi Mao, Jerry Chang. Sanjot Vijay Vaidya, Kyung Hoon Lee, Alipat Dilshat, 
Mehran Karimi. Eric Stephen Campbell. Cedric Shum Tim. Jia Wei Li. Ling Chi Zhang. Yang Yuan. Ji Jie Gao. Hui Liu. Hai Ning Zan. Xiang Xian Zhou. Juan Ignacio Lopez Garate. Shreyash Anil Taiwade. Hosanna Anais Baker. Gregory P. Coladonado. Brian Vera. Isha Sharma. Jayashri Satyajit Taure. Vidit Jain. Raj Kotari. Atul Tulsidas Awad. Runal Manish Kinsara. Ananda Badari. Li Wei Lo. Puya Nayebi. Danish Mohammed. Manu Nugotia. Shravika Mittal. David Simons. Bailey Nottingham. Daniel Beebel. Vivek Anand. Alex Steen. Jen Yu Oyang. Keshav Parwal. Jonathan Guza. Harsha Aswath. Anish Sudakar Ayer. Sumaid Surya Garimela. Zachary Joseph Minot. Chen Yang Lu. Ryan Michael Allen. Wen Hao Wu. Chris Chisholm. Michael Allen Charles Albada. John Londa. Archana Selvam. Gukhan Bal. Christopher Michael Sopranowitz. Matthew David Towles. Dimitri Maestas. Marvin L. L. Dorr Jr. Sankalp Sanjay Sangle. Omar Ahmed Ibrahim. Shachi Gorang Shah. Farhib Asan. Jan Yendrashak.
Shirley Chi. Dimitrios Terzopoulos, Han Yu Sun, Zhuang Ying Shu, Arun Warrior, Shivam Rustogi. Abhishek Patil, Jason Wu, Elsa Maria Davis, Ryan James Cosentino, Aisha Balogun. Jacob Alistair Carr, Jared Hicksonball, Ravindra Singh, Daniel Keith Natick, Justin Gregory Pons, Charles Howard Pauletti. E. Lu, Devin Gillespie, Bradley James Yinger, Mark Jeremy Cruz De La Rosa, Samir Mystery, Wilmot Ose Bonsu. Akshay N. Pramod, Alex Kluel, Amola Singh, Gung Chen, David Michael Deroche, Cody Coakley, Sahana Arya. Nisarg Mitesh Kumar Shah, Thomas Brian Bernaki, Han Song Kim, Kristen Preston, Nathan Isaac Dwayne Anderson, Mei Xuan Jiang. Julio Matsanti, Aishwarya Mudgal Sunil Kumar, Ying Chen Ma, Priya Mohanram, Maximilian Joseph Gerard Randolph. Roylando Daniel Tolliver, Abi Rami Santovalan, Ali Allen Jishi, Ted Tyler, Devendra Shiladar, Sai Chaitanya Nandipati. Srinivasa Gada Madugu, Chen Sun, Ian Michael Summers, Joshua Webb, Abhishek Mukesh Sharma, Yashadeep Mahapatra. Brett Raystatter, Ishan Loda, Wybov Kumar, 
Gopal Goel Tanuj Bora Caleb K. Matheson Nitesh Aurora Mark Andrew McCarthy Jeffrey Kim Maria Margarita Rodriguez Vasquez Rachana Pandey Matthew Zakaria Hadimaja Yomesh Sharma Ryan James Denny Oscar Alexander Alba Nicholas Castro Kimaya Marie Colasso Divya Rashmi Rohit Sudhir Byung Wu Peter Jang Xian Dong Tan Yan Hao Wong Shenen Chen Victor Javier Valverde Perez Gitanjali Manepoli Neha Upadye Harshvardhan Maheshwari Kavish Bavesh Gandhi Varun Satyanarayan Agarwal Junfan Ju Rachel K. Franklin Mohammed Mahmoud Malik Marcus Lance Chong Kamal Joseph Koshi Ashim Gautam Hamna Khan Fang Jo He Stefano Alexander Lugo Doval Tang Shui Nicholas Dominic Frado Srichin Siddharthan Srikantha Sanjeeva Shetigar Aniruddha Brahmamurti Havan Kumar Angaluri Kaushik Deb Joshua Su Chandra Prakash Justin Bailey Sabine Lackwit Albert J. Chen Chin Mai Gupta Inshira Kweku Seshi Prone Kumar Biswas Fei Li Chang Li Xiao Xiao Chu Xiao Tong Sun Jules Morata Gaspar Berlin Zhao Ran Yang Dan Chen Harini Dandu 
Kartikeyan Narasimhan Aravind Shankara Narayanan J. D. J. Jo Sahiti Matapali Niwedita Matan Kumar David Y. Kroll Brian Andrew Haig Samantha Kelly Schwartz Aditya Kadokar Hamza Khan Praveen K. Tanwar Brian Cabagon Solaber Catherine Lang Caleb Zims Tony Tu Raj Sanjay Shah Yante Chung Jonathan Cusick Misha Desai Sona Anita Jain Subash Kesapragada Madison Parker Hanbury Hungwe Shu Brendan Turpin Noreen Faruqi Mamadou Mukhtar Diallo Charles Robert Ward Srihari Subramanian Sukesh Nuthalapati William Bailey Wilson Kulan Migmadarj Alfonso Austin Chaitanya Krishna Intori Kartik Pasam Eric William Martin Akshay R. Iyer Sarah Elizabeth Cole Anbong Ye Anish Sudakar Iyer Sumed Surya Garimela Samuel Alexander Sowell Daniel Vincent Armando Emily Ann Lockie Swathi Pachipulusu Wei Jean Cock Kyle Lee Zier Taylor Hearn Akil Goel Alexander Yu Quan Lu Christopher Hugh Lowe Kritika Mittal Tushar Agarwal Pranav Guru Pasad Vedant Shroff Alyssa Liu Huang Khalil Saeed Hira Faizan Dunstan Becht Lauren Koyan Shubashish Rai 
Claude Gerard Naidu, Sachin Damle, Satish Shiradwade, Judy Chow Chen, Iyarusalem Lulzaged. Shrikanth Tumari, Joseph William Plata, Parth Patel, Gavin Greco, Andrew Thomas Braun, Alexander Kent Atwater, Eldon Mulalik. Nicholas James Sitch, Liang Ma, Antonio Dimitrov, Lin Li Tang, Megan Aldridge, Harrison Fung, Mohammed Akram Ramiz. Matthew Holman, Hey Yu Rang, Julia Gustafson, Balaram Das Behera, Emily Elaine Dury, Andy Luo. Brandon Levante Jackson, Erica Chia, Stephen Taylor Hilliard, Jillian Lee Pettigrove, Joshua Mitchell Kent, Samehan Ashe Dani. Devin Riley, Susanna Panikis, Jia Yi Zhang, Juan Pablo Walker, Brian Taylor Johnson, Otto Paulich. Christopher Nicholas Vandeveld, Ted Sheehy, Cooper Emmerich Marshall, Amin Jadrum, Triet Min Bach, Michael Anthony Hilmer, Cameron Lawrence Zermel. Catherine Shelby Melrose, Amanda Pittman, Sean Thomas Buckley, Michael Sadowski, Manuel A. De Armas, Shu Han. Christopher Bruce Lundberg, Nicholas Neuenschwander, Alex Powell, John Dugan, Lawrence R. Jonathan, Gamon Pan Leopraser. Priyan Nagru, Ryan Connor Strozenski, Philip Maravayas, Ruchir Pandya, Megan Rochelle Pearson, 
Bowen Benjamin Klo, John Womack, Thomas George Maharis, Julian Vu, April Renee Trusty. Christopher Ong, Chan Xuan Zhu, Tiago Avila, Michael Andrew Virgo, Pei Jia Yao, Ryan Villa Flores. Joseph Berima Asanti, Vivek Matre, Siddharth J. Nathan, Alex Yang, Gabriel A. Diaz, Albert Shichang Huang, Yusuf Ilminyawi. Mustafa A. Zabib, Vincent Vin Tran, Ernesto Alexis Reyes Nolasco, Andres Mauricio Vinueza Frias, Tian Jian, Tian Xiang Shu. Zilong Huang, Sriash Kakalo, Balaji Ravi Kumar, Abhijit Raghav, Naveen Narayanan, Piyali Banerjee. Chong Sun, Deepti Venkatesh, Vinny Kumar Kana, Vatan Kapadia, Rohit Das, Manas Purushottapu. Jalun Wen, Nikolai Nikolayev Tranakiev, Lisa Newt, Michael H. Mpong, Vincent H. Huang, Mega Varnika Budati. Sean Toshia Fish, Omkar Srinivas Prabhu, Dhruv Garg, Madushri Kumari, Snikda Grandi, Lakshida Dodeja. Adwait Mukund Deshpande, Cody Michael Cantor, Galtham Arun, Derek Chase Brown, Clayton Threat, Christian Ivan Answatdigi. Sujit Kanti Biswas, Rohan Sanjay Power, Rakesh Mugaludi, Shlok Shah, Anirudh Mukherjee, 
Aditya Dinesh Salian. Anirudh Heda. Shruti Patel. Varsha Ramesh. Ashlesha Gogte. Cameron Kurt Lewis. Young Uk Kim. Arun Ramachandran. Matthew Sean Purse. Tahir Hussein. Nick Aaron Shapiro. Dane Alexander Koval. Ryan Reed Gardner. Thomas Rutherford. Wang Vu. Anwika Bandari. Mihir Shilpa Melind Gandhi. Saloni Yadav. Swasti Shetty. Ananya Malik. Ashlyn Selena De Souza. Adarsh Honawad. Jaytirth Anthony Jacob. Ryan Coleman Tobin. Anirudh Prabhakaran. Vijay Saravana Jeshankar. Caitlin Nicole Jordan. Yuri Ahn. Eric Sean Liu. Kurt Andrew Campbell. Adrian Thora Thinian. Priya Butt. Yang Wei Yang. Michelle D. Zhang. John Chen. Samuel Ovidiu Berende. Raymond Johnson. Jeanette Schofield. Chandrasekharin Maruthayanan. Kishan Kumar Isayamudan Naker. Oluwashegun Adebayo Famisa. Samira Priya Bandaru. Seema Badam. David Monroe Parker. Siddhanth Rajesh. Liang Chiu. Avni Tripathi. Albert Liu. Elton Leander Pinto. Sean Jacob. Sabaro Garlapati. Aman Jane. 
Ryan Gregory Bauer, Ayush Sanjay Shah, Neha Rao, Ayush Sanjay Shah. Ritesh Malpani, Allison Lee Fister, Abhinav Gupta, Keshav Shanoi, Connor Jackson Yurkan. John Benjamin Moxley, Alexander Kevin Elliot, Noelia da Silva Sanchez, Martin Heberling, Peter Nicholas Anderson, Akshay N. Pramod, Jeffrey Chang. Alex T. Kim, Mudit Gupta, Dean K. Husband's feeling will present candidates for master's degree in the Ivan Allen College of Liberal Arts. Candidates for the Master of Science degrees in Ivan Allen College of Liberal Arts, please rise and cheer. Woo! President Cabrera, I have the honor of presenting to you those candidates for the Master of Science degrees who have completed the requirements for these degrees. Jared Manning Isaacs. Spencer Clifford. Donald Lewis G. Eniola Abimbola Stephanie Ore. Hala Al Shahapi. Atia Noor Jangda. Mark Lenneman. Laura Sofia Para Palais. Jaden Marshall. Grace Elizabeth Malden. Margaret Sanders, Catherine Elizabeth Moore, Yunfan Zhao, Elizabeth Umana, Naseeb Swedan, Ashok Bharat Sankaran. Jessica Borden, Zachary W. Kern, Vikas Madhav Nagarajan, Jamal Kesney August, Caroline Patton, Cameron Kurt Lewis, Caroline Patton Hicks. Francis Austin Humphrey, 
Eric Direnzo Kub. Meredith Michelle Furbish. Cecilia Grace Remy. Jacob Matthew Aguirre. Thelmari Quilan Irisari. Emily Caroline Ferris. Leilani Leah Smith. Kara Naomi Cantor. Ray Gyung Kong. Yuan Ling Chen. Charles Asher Key. Galen Hughes. Caitlin Crosby. E. Yuan Ma. Amber Gail Johnson. Ze Yu Liu. Hang Fei Ju. Deborah Sung Un Cho. Gwendolyn Kai Hostetter. Natalie Isabel Huertas. Associate Dean Russell Gentry will present the candidates for master's degrees in the College of Design. Candidates for the Master of Science in Design, please rise and cheer. <laughs> President Cabrera, I have the honor of presenting to you those Master of Science degree candidates who have completed the requirements for their degrees. Emily Tahara Dean. Charles Kim. Daniel Alfredo Castro. Aparna Regu Kumar. Mackenzie Shinnick. Anna Alden Rogers. Priyanshi Shah. Sydney Noel Danielle Henry. Archie Shah. Cam Holmes. V. Tween Nguyen. Pedro Enrique de Medeiros Vieira. Kaiyuan Chen. Lauren O. Bedoon. Sierra Scott. Nadia Pramaputri. Selma Raquel Fayada. Laura Diaz Vijakiran. Rema Firos. Suzanne Renee Shorosh. Emily Tahara Dean. Patricia J. Ronhelm. 
Elizabeth Gooch, Nicole R. Barrow, Jaita Vasanth Shetty, Shyam Sushma Samani, Bhavya Sanjay Chavla, Ria Shah. Ening Chen, Abiha Batul, Courtney Rose Melcher, Andrew Ryan Shalaba, Margaret R. Johnston, Scott Morgan. Morgan Sophia Drotti, Shermia Mathis, Tyler Christopher Lizzo, Anna Strikovic, Kyle Patrick Barber, Matthew McDonald. Harshini Ongole, Ian Matthew Mori, Marina Catherine Masseroni, Shruti Hariharan, Hasrat Kaushal, Seku Shamari Samuels, Sean Patrick Enright. Miriam Dominguez, Abby Lasher Kumar, Courtney Sina, Samrawit Michael Johannes, Julianar Julie Dama Wahid, Colin Delargi. Michaela Master, Yasmin Korashahi, Adriana Nicole Colon Adorno, Nathan Tyler Davis, Roxanne Leslie Raven. Darian Ruggles, Sambla Ayaz Khan, Umar Farooq Dar, Yushang Zhao, Clifton McFarland, Stephen Paul Acido, Cooper Lee Brock. Thomas Neves, Miles Rollins, Trevor M. Butler, John McCarty Noe, Harshika Saint, Ratnamanjiri Mukund Shetye. Mark Chan, Natasha Renee Johnson, Colin Xavier Finnegan, Tyler Algen Pirovic, Jose Miguel Jimenez Chavez, Ashley B. Jones. Kevin J. Miller, Eric Alexander Trollinger, Emily Lorraine Werner, Heidi Victoria Devari, Kara Marchesani, Manor Fahim, 
Andrea Aristigieta, Sneha Morthy, Jia Yang Lu, Kishore Kandasami, Shrutam Vasant Prabhu, Mason James Burrow, Dylan Lejeune, Akansha Mantripagada, Aishwarya Devendra Wanmali, Anuradha Karam, Hey Ray Yan, Yijo Lin. Richard Stevenson, Fang Yang, Yunso Her, Li Xing Shan Huang, Sean Marshall Levine, Sean Andrew Tillman. Vedant Kalbag, Noel Albin, <laughs> Saksham Jain, Rosa Victoria Westfall, Jocelyn Torrance Cavanaugh. Zhao Lin Hao, Purva Haresh Kshir Sagar, Abhinav Reddy Singiredi, Mauktika Reddy Pala, Sai Charan Pakala, Karunya Kumar. Hawan Kumar Bomoredi, Juan Sanchez, Bharat Reddy Beam Reddy, Heidi Chu, Shriyukti Shah, Christopher Robert Garso, Herman Zamora. Juan Camilo Viamizar Sainz, Sabalan Sharif Zade, Haria Pevandi, Yulin Min, Nebu Worku Beza. Dave Donghyun Lee, Ishwar D. Ramnarayan, Dean Maryam Malavi will present the candidates for master's degrees in the Ernest Scheller Junior College of Business. Candidates for Master of Business Administration degrees in the Scheller College of Business, rise and cheer! <laughs> President Cabrera, I have the honor of presenting to you those candidates for Master of Business Administration degrees who have completed the requirements for this degree. Amanda Shojai. Sarah Nauman. 
Jonathan Robert Christ, Ashley Lauren Hall, Nathaniel Joseph Heald, Angela Como Vakiner, Zoe Nicole Kafkis, Sabrina Louise Bernstein, Allison Gillis Hausman, Abby Vandenhuvel, Jian Wen Wang, Courtney Falinski, Natalie Hagen Hendricks, Amy Elaine Hayes, Mary Elizabeth Jones, Karthik Hosavaranchi Kodaraju, Chris A. Evans, Thomas Jeffrey Kelly, Megan Emily Stepanek, Taylor Kent Morehouse, Robert Wesley Mason, Sharang Managoli, Thomas Brandon Clark, Heather Crator, Christina Elizabeth Capello, Rachel Elizabeth Ware, Abriel M. Corsi, Felicia A. Lamont, Robert Harrison Duncan, Georgia Pierce, Savannah J. Thomas, David Yixin Chen, Colton Daniel Orr, Mike McDonald, Hyosak Ryu, Brando Angel, Kyle Parazon, Clay Ingalls, Austin Ryan Moskowitz, Rankin Bohan, Timothy Elam, James Lewis Corbin, Aisan Kodai, Ignacio Blanco Bias, Alia Salchin, Andrea Lee Pitts, Chelsea Hernandez, Jillian Marie Spade, Kashis A. Men's Cole, Roman Calvin Mendes Jr., Sajal J. Patel, Isabella Newberry, Christian Miles Dula, Luis Salas, Lucas Calem Alves, Vitor Monteiro, Taina Oliveira, Clement Lamberton, Sawyer V. Williamson, Gerald Hardesty, Trevor Frasky, Justin A. Steinfeld, Dylan Oxley Langston, Chien U Dong, Angelica Nicole Trumer, Jacoby D. Golden, Fei Sha, Fiona Tong, K. 
Kelly Pierce, Catherine Virginia Capone, Charlene Michelle Manuel, Anna Rais Hasni, Chike Ralph Rapu. Christopher Wesley Liu, Brian Turner, Natasha Matthew, Dorothy Ann Canella Green, Awanda Lung Pasamba, Jamie Anderson Reedy. Oliver Leo, Charles Owen Breitmeier, Joshua Carroll, Kevin Undeck, Sarah Catalina Rios, Benson Hu. Molly Catherine O'Neill, Yuval Safra, Leo Joseph Haig, Thomas Winslow Lanzert, Margaret May Joyce. William Hooper Landefeld, Omar A. Mikawi, Yula Jung, Sydney Adrian Ballish, Randy Marie Comstock, Sarah Jane Tong, Kritika Saran. Kashmira Supakar, Venkata Kancharla, Aditya Reddy Gunda, Joshua Nathaniel Wallace, Sadanshu Ambadapudi, Zachary Kelly Woodburn. Thomas Jordan Rickabaw, Karthik Varanasi, Allison Walker LaForge, Jamie Corcoran Roth, Paula Simonetti, Rita Yunye Reynolds. Kira Hankin, Paroma Chakravarthi, Emily Bodiford, Tanner Truelove, Punit Puri, Vinayak Vesh, Kalyan Gadam. Akihiro Manda, Kyle Daniel Harris, Kyle Douglas McBride, Grant Edmonds, Dylan Reese Hutchison, Jonathan Brown, Omar Ali Sharif. Joshua Dirks, Muna Muhammad Khalif, Alan Luo, Prachi Aditya Shah, Asveen Chabra, 
Jamil Solomon Joyner, Jean Eddie Wilson Jr., Andrew Lamar Pitts, Athanasios Lolos. Dean Susan Lozier will present candidates for the master's degree in the College of Sciences. Candidates for master's of science degrees in the College of Sciences, please rise and cheer. <laughs> President Cabrera, I have the honor and privilege and pleasure of presenting to you those candidates for Master's of Science degrees who have completed the requirements for these degrees. Go science! <laughs> Rakeen Ahmed Chowdhury. Harini Narasimhan. Drusty N. Patel, Sandrine Ferens, Dorian Minor, Susan Marie Harrison, Jordan Nicole Murdoch, Piper Mackenzie Rackley. Elizabeth Ann Corbin, Catherine Kenya, Claudia Isabel Ortega Borda, Manasa Upadhyaya, Gita Priyanka Erodati, Kirti Chatlani. Nilavra Sensarma, Christopher Roberts Dupree, Dinesh Ravindra Raju, Shreyash Gupta, Dhruv Karve, Zachary Bryant Mudge, Amartya Achin Mandal. Srinath Sri Krishnan, Grace Kim, Neharika Bhatia, Chloe Elizabeth Pryor, Andy Che, Jared Blake Collins, Wei An Chen. Shraddha Krishna Kumar, Associate Dean Damon Williams will present candidates for the master's degrees in the College of Engineering. Obviously, we are saving the best for last. So, President Cabrera, I have the honor of presenting to you these candidates for Master of Science degrees who have completed the requirements for these degrees. Ramsha Ali, Sukriti Singh. Sri Charan Sundar, Samantha Boss, Ting Xue, Yu Hang Liu, Zed Ibrahim, Madhubala Ganapati Krishnan. 
Apoorva Srinivas Rajat Mohan Shivani Gandage Ayushi Agarwal Harini Narayanan Atraj Sarma Rishikesh Kale Ashi Parashar Winston Xiao Ze Huan Tang Po Chuan Chen Tejaswini Anand Kumar Vandita Ajit Kumar Shetty Disha Rakesh Gulor Sandhya Ravindran Supriya Sundar Nitya Sri Avala Aravinda Prabhu Daniel Clay Hudadoff Anna Caro Alan Jin Shashank Karkata Hola Atre Hosmane Uchi Ja Kartik Angadi Sumit Ravi Ryan Ross Ade Nicholas Kwan Wei Tan Arthur Mark Roos Alexander Lyndon Rice Miranda Kai Tan David Ronald Lawrence III Alex Slaby Nail Isaac Wasson Sudarshan Sarange Chinmay Nandakishore Gaidani Juwedia Ahabchan Rizlan Jari Matteo Palisati Christopher Jeffrey Slagle Ryan Ray Kinjal Santosh Mota Alexander S. Pontecorvi John Carlos Santmanat Jacob Varner Omkar M. Gowekar Dilip Parachuri Tin Trong Din Do Sudarshan Sundar Nishan Sharma Ankor Bindal Aloysius Leon Abrio Varun Saxena Michael Stephen Michelli Madeline Elaine Holda Anant Krishna Kumar Jacob Van Doyn Breckbuehl Tara Ekram Nia Anushka Saha Joshua Terry Casanova Simmons Priyash Shah Zachary F. Cloutier Eamon Yaswi Flaherty 
Bismanjit Singh, Nellie Louise McKinney, Rashid Davis, Justin Yu. Belinda M. Lafay, Tristan Zihong Huang, Antoine Nicolas Paletta, Keshav Ramanathan. Ebenezer Arun Kumar, Shan Murugan Selva Murugan, Luke Kenneth Lover, Dylan Walker Smith, Tibo Steinmetz, Jade Sufiani. Yushin Ding, Zijian Ding, Paul William Carter, Jacqueline Zhu, Miriam Buzidi, Michael Haig. Mackenzie Jane Glazer, Monica Bahara, Adrian Dor, Kelsey Raquel Perez, Ritika Venkatesh Kotamachu, Sheldon Ray Steins. Arno Kleepfell, Christopher Douglas Hine, Karina N. Gomez Guzman, James Alexander Moss, Eric George Biederman, Emmanuel Torres Surio. Daniel Wu, Lizette Galarza, Akshay Udupa, Satvik Prabhu, Florine Giton, Valentin Munier. Lea Lesbats, Clemence Olanye, William Colin Robinson, David James Hogan, Yoel Alperin, Lauren Ashley Connolly. Samantha Adelaide Smith, Gerald Anton Schweiger, Gabriel Crivian, Isha Dogra, Olohije Valerie Ayeni, Rachel Olivia Harvey, Lauren Ann Tapp. Devin James Ron, Solène Francois, Paul Andre Marc Roser, Etienne Olivier, Alexandre Castelnau, Clara Roja. 
Thomas Leroy, Alex Duma, Man Hung Wen, Sarah Catherine Reddish. Shweta Rajagopalan, Nikhil Damani, Adrija Bhattacharya, Emily Hope Davenport, Thomas Kim, Justin Matthews. Andrew King, Somjit Sen, Swapnil Shukla, Pradeepti Singh, Sweta Sendil, Isaac Ose Amponsa, Sweta Prabhakar. Megana Balaki, Vibanshu Mishra, Manit Rambia, Baswari Satyendra, Kirtana Ayer, Sean Philip Inglestead, Abai Kashikar. Mark Nicoletti, Esteban Daniel Limon, Jake Leao Sisivath, Diego Frata, Ira Saltis, Matthew David Marcus, Brent Patchen. Catherine Boykel, Joshua Antonio Johnson, Hannah Elizabeth Phillips, Vikram Neil Lokasundram, Smit Mystery, Mandani Tenakun. Manuel Jose Quadra, Juwan Drake, Yunchin So, Tahmid Samuel Mola, Nicholas Watney Meyer, Kadiravan Uma Sankar, Sebastian M. Subert. Samuel Patrick Ferguson, Nathan Simard, Michael Alexander Fredericks, Gautam Vengarachalam, Joaquin Matakoli, Korawat Sakponponom. Dong Hyun Kim, Samuel E. Wanfor, Jeremiah Caleb Jurgensmeyer, Man Wo Loi, Leslie Hull, Lauren Gicheski, Darian Perez. Alex Redling, Mark Tzu Chun Lao, Pranav Satish Krishnamurthy, Jude Charyathundam Augustine, Siobhan Elizabeth Whittle, K. 
Cameron Karachia, Nathan Rajiv Washburn, Aditya Mishra, William J. O'Shea, Thibault Mazeman, Baptiste Clement, Stanislas Russell Jue, Douglas Sito Chin Jr., Jason Wang Lee, Enea Dushai, Jesse Liu. Michael Benben, Aditya Girish Desai, Shreya Banger, Pranav Yatiraj, Samar Suresh, Tarun Krishna Madhusudan. Anirudh Viswanath, Akshit Narayanan, Amulya Bijam, Manas Mantha, Kunj Dinesh Sukha, Madhu Kartik Mohanalingam. Jessica Denae Rawls, Zed Khan, Giridhar Winjanapati, Gayatri Guntapali, William T. Morgan, Ashley M. Johannes. Reed Martin Ruggles, Shez Malik, Belinda M. Lafay, Chase Wallen, Kelsey Olivia J, Matthew John Irving. Jessica Pan Zhang, Tristan Gaskins, Julian Akil Rose, Gun Ryu, Jiwan Jennifer Lee, Harshita Indukuri. Daily Wiley, Pranav Shridhar, Deepika Suresh, Ananya Kamat, Priyal Riddish Chatrapati, Ahmed Akil Sheikh. Sumed Vijay Naik, Vidit Niriv Ja, Pradipti Gupta, Omrita Ghosh, Amog Dabulkar, Dhruv Barfiwala, Parima Devanshu Meta. An Shuman, Noema Badi, Zhuan Liu, Scott J. Edwards, Alexander Isidore Mintchev, Ryan Scott Piansky, Matthew Pleskow. 
Derek S. Mu, Damian Huerta, Ryan Matthew Grajeski, Nathan E. Chen Wong, Jacob Nelson, Himanshu Chowdhury. Anusha Sambetla, Maya Gatlin, Bryce Minix, Elton Shinji Okuma Hayashiguchi, Jonathan Kagu, Michael Thomas Smith. Aryan Sanjay Shah, Deepa and Shah, Kalhi Shadman Khan, Smith Sparsh, Akshay Kardkal Kamat Tejas Shah Harish Krishnamurti Frank Yu Eric Son Ayan Kadri, Varsha Gopal, Brian Zhang Zhu, Naga Ram Jaswant Chunduru, Sai Sahitya Kasa, Kundana Kaladindi. Viswanath Konde Puri Ruthwick Aki Venkata Siva Krishna Madala Sandra Maria Shaji Nesara Irana Bethor Sandilya Bale Marti Jane Ivanova Bafia Lokasani Druva Dilip Devastale Joshua Matthew Hesprick Daniel Alvarado Velez Ahmed Wahid Ananda Rangan Narayanan Pavitra Kupakon Siddharth Sudakaran Ashwin Guraj Prakash Visme Chandra Abhiram Krishnan Bai Chuan Wang Julian Finlaw Edward Durling Susanna Pan Anna Avila Karina Eng Dang Zachary Gezi Kyle Kicklighter Kyung Soo Kim Valentin Su Hao Richter Arvind Srinivasan Prachi Sinha Div Sharma
Catherine Maria Roberts. Francis Gregory La Rosa. Aniket Venkatesh. Preksha Prakash Vichare. Rishika Jakar. Shreya Satdeva. Neha Srivatsa. Adam Profili. Mihika Peshva. Mark Alexander Weatherly. Akil Dakshesh Amin. Jawad M. Khan. Omar El Shawa. Yi Jia She. Xin Tian Tao. Xiang Yu Li. Shi Hao Xiang. Hui Bo Zhang. Yun Qi Shen. Zhe Yang Liu. Nin Yuan Yang. Jay Den. Vedant Rajendra Mahulkar. Aaron Pan. Nicholas Ian Miller. Mittal Pandya. Marshall Lee. Ravi Kodali. Clay Alexander Kaler. Flint Jung. Enrique Quiros. Camden Parker McBride. Evan Bloom. Benjamin Rolaine Breer. Shivam Chandra. Nishalini Shanmugan. Joseph Stein. Eric Turner. Shiho Nakamura. Vishesh Vivek Gatani. Oliver Maxwell Stefan. Mirza Samnani. Saida Amena. Elizabeth Marie Vaughn. Andres Paul Amundsen. Taylor Vessel. Priyesh Sanjay Sangvi. Rishi Dasgupta. Sanchit Dige. Yufang Wang. Ushan Lu. Yang Yu Chen. Mohameti Yesibao. Samuel Wilson Hodges. Benjamin Logan Zeusman. Alexander Bryce Vitali. Wade Kavalik. Michael McQueen. Deepika Garg Singla. 
Ananya Kapoor, Faraz Sheikh, Tiffany Chow, Alistair Joshua Sequera, Jovi Klikan, Leno Dawei Liu. Dakota Lee Servants, Gregory Arlington Belgorod, Hyangju Chui, Anush Vijay Aswal, Shlok Sridhar Sharma, Anubhav Chopra, Yash Gajanan Pundey. Yash Nilesh Patel, Viraj Nilesh Shah, Daria Rajesh Patel, Pratik Ashish Shah, Manav Bavesh Shet, Shivtej Mahaling Sete. Aditya Sudhir Gate, Shivangi Jaiswal, Abhijit Tambare, Rituraj Patil, Suyog Shekhar Kulkarni, Douglas Dobbin. Michelle Dominica Warren, Timothy Michael Elric, Anish Begesna, <laughs> Dominic Joseph Panisi, Fernando Morales. Evan Charles Martin, Tyler Austin Wills, Robert Thomas Sorrentino, Michael Bradley Keenan, Paul Wong, Anno Baland, Howard Pang. Ruby Alfawaris, Tessa Rogers, Mark Anthony Kirshner, Tessa Rogers, Mark Anthony Kirshner, Jasne B. Smith. Jahan Zubin Dastor, Jacob P. Grant, Grant C. Stevenson, Jarrett Michael Torres, Ryan Jacob Baker. All right, so there are a few among us who don't know how to follow instructions. I don't know what the consequences of this would be because I'm about to pronounce the magic words. So 15 years from now, your diploma will be a lot more powerful than theirs. Will all graduates please rise? Upon the recommendation of the faculty of the Georgia Institute of Technology and by authority of the Board of Regents of the University System of Georgia, 
I now confer upon each of you a master's degree with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities thereunto appertaining, and I welcome you into the company of scholars, graduates, to symbolize your achievement. You now may move your tassel on your motorboard from the right to the left. Please join me in congratulating these fine new graduates of Georgia Tech. And now we ask that you remain standing for just a minute while the party uh, here in the platform recesses. Then I invite all of you to join in singing the greatest fight song of all time, The Rambling Red. Graduates should remain in their seats until the conclusion of the fight song. Thank you for joining us and have a wonderful, wonderful evening. I'm a ram. 